Hello everyone. This is editing Naritsu here. Um, I'm experimenting with this new format where I basically take all of the uh, past segments where we talk about a particular show and put them all into a nice big super cut. Uh, so you guys can watch as our opinions on a show change over time as the weeks go by and we end up repeating ourselves constantly. <laughs> but anyway um yeah i figured this would be a fun little little project to do so um yeah i guess without any further ado let's uh talk about gushing over magical girls shall we <laughs> i've been watching is i've been watching the, the 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 new anime of the year um looking up to magical girls and i i no. would, i'm delighted i am delighted to inform the chat that they did not fuck it up <laughs> they did not fuck it up. They actually fucking pulled through, and it's ah oh, so good. It's yeah. good. so the only the first episodes come out, um, but it's they actually somehow managed to make it even raunchier than the monk. <laughs> you know what they say: the company must be desperate when they're actually giving you what you want. Yeah, like they 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 delivered. It, it's actually good um you know in the rest of this this stuff. this does fall you know confirm my suspicion that actual more explicit sex is more allowed these days and i'm so sad that twitch is walking everything back it was <laughs> it was it was an improvement i don't care what anybody says it was an improvement right so, f, f, f so. for good twitch decisions so I linked I linked some stuff in the chat earlier and just now that uh I don't I don't I don't actually even know if like the Twitter videos are like of like, if you could even get away with showing that on ah. fucking <laughs> on YouTube cuz there's no nudity but it's like like this like in in the manga like they they have like the whole scene where she's spanking the magical girls with her crop and in the anime, they actually show like the panties, and they actually animate like the spanking more directly on the buttocks rather than in the manga where it's like outside the clothes, like it's on the skirt. Um, and you can see that in like the caps and the video that I posted, right? So I'm um, going to just uh, do a show it quick because we're way into the video. We're too small for YouTube to care that much. Oh, hopefully we'll spoil we'll hey, look. We'll fucking oh that one that so that one was interesting because it was like i don't even remember that happening in the mug <laughs> i think i remember there was a scene with a carrot where there was like an undressing happening but they fucking like yeah they they, they fucking like really animated that <laughs> like really hard and i'm like damn they 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 spent some time on that one um but the, the the spanking part was the the other one that I linked, which was the chibi review tweet. Yeah, those are manga pages mostly, and I don't. Uh, that's well, too much. Well, the manga pages. There was the manga the, pages, the tweet, and then there was the the tweet the where twi chibi betrayed us. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, I, I, I tweeted about that because I think his tweet was shit. Because it's like, oh, this is why people think anime is weird. Irony posting fucking bullshit. Like, fuck off. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I already, I already ranted about that on Twitter. Yeah, but I'm like, you can, but, but. But like you can tell, like when you compare like how it's portrayed in the in the in the in the uh, manga versus the anime, like it's it's they've they've definitely like I think I think part of it's probably because it's the director of Tolovru, um, working on it, and I have a sneaky suspicion that the, that that guy is like putting out his A game to direct it and and make it as good as possible. Um, the animation is also not as bad as I thought it was going to be because obviously it's the same studio that did the Girls Frontline anime we don't talk about, um, and it's you know it's 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 fine for what it is, right? It's not like it's amazing animation, but it does you know we're not asking for like fucking you know Ghibli level shit here. We just you know as long as the good parts are good, you know we don't it doesn't need to be too bad. Um, yeah, Ali throwing the channel on the edge for some for some tummy, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> We only but, have um, one strike, and it would go away if I do that stupid course on copyright, whatever. Just, just yeah. That's not 100% true. 
I remember someone just recently got their first strike and their entire channel was terminated. Well, they also I, well, set a world record at the same time. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. the world record was how many in words you can say in a live stream <laughs> before, <laughs> before it goes down. Well, we got we got we got the one strike from Kalakawa, which Ali needs to do something. You need to do something about that. Get rid of it. Um, but but basically, yeah, no. Um, you also can get rid I of it, though. You do just do that stupid. I'm call. not gonna. I uh, know you. You. You're the reason we had to do it in the first place. So you're the. It's your fucking responsibility. Um. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. Um. Yeah, looking up to Magical Girls is is, look, is shaping up to be really good. I would highly recommend watching it. High dive got the ATX version, so it's uncensored on High Dive until the Blu-rays come out, and I'm going to be... It's going to be very interesting to compare what was changed between the Blu-rays and the non, and the ATX version, because they mentioned that the Blu-rays is going to be even more uncensored, and supposedly they might have more... It, it'll either have different animation or different vocals in it, apparently, so... We will, we will, we will see how that plays out. But yeah, no, definitely watch that. The other one I watched is I. This will go straight into Magical Girls because obviously sure. that's like the nat the natural thing to talk about next. My God, are they fucking delivering? My fucking God, were all my worries about this adaptation not being good unfounded? I am, I am very pleased. Have repent, Naritsu, repent. I will repent. I will repent at the altar of the magical girls. So, have you been watching it, Ali? I I have watched it, and I want to. You know, I I think to, to to be a little bit, you know, serious. I guess. Um, I appreciate a show about sexual awakening. Yes, I mean, I mean, you've talked about how you you love you know Savage Maidens, and you've talked about how you, yes. you really liked that too. So. Uh, I um, the show isn't very far; it's only two episodes. Uh, yes, but you know the ma- you know the manga, I guess. I have, I have read the manga, so I know what's coming. You probably don't. So no, uh, but I appreciate a a uh, even though it's 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 kind of fan surfacey and maybe even more for the males than for female sexual awakening. I appreciate for what I can see is a genuine exploration. Uh, examination of a sexual awakening because people have that she has that right now um and i uh, the only thing i will say is she's not the only character that's gonna have that no no because uh uh blue green haired uh sword girl (laughs) has had her own so uh, so fu- I hope they get to that in episode three because it's that because that was the moment in the manga when I was like, yeah, no, this is fucking good. Like when when it gets to her specifically, the, the blue haired girl, mm-hmm. when it gets to her having the moment, because it's hinted at in this episode. So I'm hoping they get to that in the next episode. When that happened in the manga, I was like, okay, yeah, no, this is going to be a top. This is going to be fucking top. A grade shit. Like this is going to be probably one of the best itchy animes that, or itchy manga series that I've read in a, that I will have read in a long time, right? And that's it, what hooked me in. So I'm I am very excited for if they when they get to that. So um, it'll get it'll give you kind of it'll give you kind of what you're looking for. I think would be a good way to. Put it. So uh uh. But basically, I am more excited about the the uh, sexual awakening of these characters than the actual sexiness on the screen. It's kind of like it's more. Of, I I like it more for the maidens of Inner Severed season than for the Tula Fru. Yeah, the co- the context makes it a lot better. I think, uh, especially as you get to kind of see how that progresses over time. And as more characters get introduced and as more characters kind of cater to different sort of fetishes in a sense and different kinks, right? It's different characters are into different things, right? I think mm. I think that, that is that is an aspect of the series that is very interesting and I hope um they portray it well in the anime. Um, because it was portrayed very well in the manga. Uh and so so talking more about kind of what we have seen, right? Like um I think that they've really done a good job at capturing a lot of the 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 wacky, the wacky facial expressions and the wacky, um, 
the 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 the, the, fu- the funny art style of the of the anime because mm-hmm. I, I I don't know if you, if you go on like the Twitter for the the official anime Twitter they've been posting like gif images from the show and they've been choosing exactly the right ones to use. I'll, I'll go into. The I mean, show. if if you're just going to Twitter for episode two, right? She she looks she see she's at the temple. She looks she and then her she has a funny she looks, face. Yeah, yeah. She looks she looks down at the uh, at, at at the at the the porn magazine, the the S and M magazine, and she there's this moment where she, like the, the I actually screen capped that and saved it on my laptop because I thought it was funny. <laughs> I think they posted that on yeah they did post that one on Twitter too. So I'll go grab that for you because uh, you, you can. You can download them via because good thing about the bot on on Discord is you can just download the video or whatever um, of the GIF and because it turns it into a webm. Um, yeah, there you, go. there you go. I'll put the I'll put oh. a few of those in the chat. Uh, so yeah, there is there is the, yeah they they know what they they've managed to capture the unique style of the of the manga quite well. Right, because because that was one of the things I was kind of worried about was will this translate into anime, right? And I'm glad to say that they've delivered on that. If you've read the manga, it'll be interesting to see if they manage to keep that up and showcase kind of um, some of the more like weird kind of reaction images that show up in the manga, where there's like there's some moments where it's like the characters are like crudely drawn type stuff when they're reacting to certain situations so i'll be interested to see if they manage to kind of pull that off but so far i would definitely say it's shaping up to possibly be an anime of the year contender and we haven't even like gotten into the beginning of the year yet oh. right um yeah here we go sorry uh, oh, i have so, to I have to oh. loop it right here here we go yeah oh damn it damn it this damn is a good this is a good face yes yes Yes, you could bring up all of them if you want. It'd be fun. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it at, the, at this for now. Okay, but that one, yeah. So that's kind of what I'm talking about, right? Where you have like, because that was something that happened in the manga too. I'd have to go and find that chapter in the manga, and I'd have to you know, fucking get the picture. But you, it, they managed to convey it very well. Is the main point, right? They managed to convey it extremely well, style wise. Now I will say, right now the fight scenes. Because there was a fight this episode, which was more of a fight than just you know, not a fight, right? Mm-hmm. The animation for that, not 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 you know, a little bit slideshowy, but I think that's fine. And the reason I think that's fine is because I wasn't expecting the fights to actually be that good in general. Because I think that they know where the budget needs to go, if that makes sense, right? Even though the budget, yeah, yeah. Mean. Because if you, because there's, a, because one of the things that happens in this episode is a character gets blindfolded essentially and gets groped, right? They spent a lot of time on the animation of the groping and making sure that that looks good, right? And then you compare that to like the fight scene with the yellow girl, right? And you can kind of get the idea of right, they know what they're doing in terms of where to focus the energy, right? Um, so. That's kind of one point, I guess you could say, is maybe being a problem depending on you know what you're into or whatever. The other thing to kind of talk about before we move on is the fact that High Dive has picked up the ATX version, which is essentially the most uncensored version outside of the Blu-rays. And I believe the only stuff that's going to be changed for the Blu-rays is um, sound. So like probably moans and stuff. Are pro- there's probably going to be added moans in the Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. And I think there may or may not be some added animation ish. But it's probably not going to be a lot, I would say. I so would I think, think safe- that it would kind of be like a Mushoku Tensei that there are some scenes that are, you know, cut out some they're zoomed in more. Because, you know, in the episode zero of Mushoku Tensei, the second season... Yeah, the the the, the bald big, but the fat bald man was groping the yeah, lolly ish yeah. assassin, and that was kind and of I, cropped and out. I, and, and I remember, and I remember that was like a censorship debacle because Crunchyroll notoriously only gets the censored versions because they're cheap bitches. Um, so so, but the thing is, is I'm glad that High Dive got the um the ATX version because I mean. <laughs> 
of course, you should be watching your anime 100% legally. Nah. Right, Ellie? Right, Ellie? Of you course. should watch your anime legally. We're, we're, However, we're, Katakawa loves us, right? So Kataka Yeah, we love Katakawa here. Katakawa boys, right? We're Katakawa boys. We yeah. love Katakawa. But um, seriously, though, it means that the ATX version is readily available. So it's very easy to find the most uncensored version of the show online if you wish to go a certain route that may involve ships right <laughs> may involve may involve ships with skulls and bones on the melee no? oh, mm -hmm. yeah might, might involve some that. Um, yeah maybe a little bit of that maybe a little bit of that um yeah it's readily available so i would say um because i was initially going to wait for the blu-rays but considering the fact that the the readily available version right now is basically as uncensored as you could probably get right i i think that it's safe to start watching now and watch it weekly if you wanted to right yeah um of course you can always wait till it's finished and wait for the blu-rays and have it come out and you'd probably get pretty much a, an exact experience right because the worry is obviously you know if you watch the air the tv version it's going to be massively censored versus you know the atx or the blu-ray version and yeah. that's one of the reasons why when i get to talking about a moral guild a little bit later because i'm going to talk about a couple of other anime before i talk about that i'll probably talk about that last right um you know i waited for immortal guild even though that came out in 2022 i waited for the the fine like the definitive editions of that to come out right where it's fully uncensored fully edited to give her all the extra scenes fully you know add all the added stuff right so i'm happy to say that gushing over magical girls is getting treated with respect and is good um, at least so far, two episodes in. So yeah, that's that's I guess unless you've got anything else you'd like to. Add. No, no. Uh, my my biggest uh, praise and thing I'm going to watch it for is the the Savage Se 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 season uh, similarity. Unless yeah. something and changes, it'll and it will be interesting to talk more about that as we go on. Um, I'd be interested to talk more about that with you as we go on once we get to more instances of that occurring. Yeah. Um. So. Other things I've watched. So, yeah, it's 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 meh. gushing over magical girls, looking up to magical girls. Still good, still fantastic, still great. Um, I'm hoping that next episode they get to some some um, parts because so, there's some parts I'm waiting for that are really really fucking great. So I'm waiting for those to happen. Um, but this episode was still really good. We got to see Kiwi, who is a very good character. Um, I don't know if you've been very watching. Very good girl, up. apparently. Yeah. Yep, she's very good. Um, she's she 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 wants to take the main character to the love hotel. It's it's very <laughs> as you do it's very, as you do.
Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, um, number two, uh, you you start. Well, you start I mean, I, I mean, you, I mean, I've obviously watched Gushing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the latest episode was really good. It was actually one of the parts in the manga that I really liked. Um, the 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 part with the the the, the, the she wears the pasty, <laughs> <laughs> so she can She's like, I'm totally not embarrassed, and it's like, no, you're totally embarrassed. Um, and I think that another key aspect of this one is, I mean, most people are going to talk about the first half, which was the um the the pasty stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But the second half is also very important because the second half is, is you're starting to see um Utana kind of start to like accept her role and become you know solidified in her role of fighting the anime girls uh, the, the magical girls right and start to like enjoy it right so i think that that is an interesting uh, piece of development and that's why that part in the anime on, or in the manga was there was it, it it's it's part of the slow progression of the character right mm-hmm. where she starts to kind of be like okay i'm not like because she admires the magical girls and now she's starting to recognize her role in the dynamic right like she wants to be the villain in the dynamic even though she still admires the magical girls and gushes over them she understands start is starting to kind of grow into that sort of mold right of right i i I have to try to defeat them and put them in these situations and get to have my fun but then they also get to develop alongside me doing the stuff and i get to be super close to them and watch them as they develop right um so you get to see hints of that in this episode right and so that's why the second half of the episode is really really interesting um but of course i think the main highlight and if you've still got those images saved in your image box is is some of the reaction shots actually not which is one of oh no they're not you got rid of them no um Uh, yeah I mean, I posted one of the gifs from the from the thing because they show. I think they've done a really good job of translating the manga because the manga does these kind of like uh, really cute reaction shots uh, as well, right? And I think they've translated really well into animation. Uh, so, so it's it's quite good to see that, as we mentioned before in the cast, my expectations have been completely fucking demolished, right? In terms of, oh, I thought this was going to be censored. I thought it was not going to. There's no way they could possibly show this now. You know, there's no way a show like this could possibly happen, right? But then they, you know, no, they're fucking pulling it off. They're pulling it off. It's better than I expected completely. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on today's episode. What are, what are, what are, what have you got to say? Um, the 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 uh, <laughs> ah, the the exhibitioning pasties was a very nice scene. The, the that scenario mm. was always kind of fun to have. Uh, it's 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 like you know, first episode kill a kill in a sense almost, but uh, kill a kill commits hard to that, and uh, I don't believe that gushing over magical girls will. It's not the point. Does that's not the point of magical uh, gushing over magical girls? So it's all fine. Um, I did notice that in the second half, Utena actually proactively appears when the the magical girls are detected, instead of yeah apparently being forced into it. She was there, ready with a plan, and uh, immediately went on the attack. Uh, that was indeed far more of a villain role, you know. Oh no, our anti-detection thing w- is down. The enemies will be upon us soon, and oh, there they are. They there they are. So she did act as a villain would. Um, yeah. Another uh, next episode is the uh, Alice uh, girl is going to be introduced. Apparently. Uh... Apparently, although well, that'll be interesting then, because Alice is quite a Alice is a mute, <laughs> so it's going to be interesting uh, if Alice is coming next next episode. Well, I, uh... uh, I'm hoping that I'm hoping they do like maybe the Alice introduction, but then also get in. I can't remember the blue haired girl's name, but the blue haired girls. Sayo, there's a really important. I mentioned it before, but there's a really important interaction between here and Utena that's coming up. Like it's really like. I think because it was the moment when I was reading the manga where the manga went from 
okay, this is pretty good. I'm liking the etchy that's going on right now. I can kind of see where this is going. This is quite quite interesting. That was the point for me where I was like, no, this is this is gonna be a big hit. Like this is gonna be like really, really good, right? Because it solidifies a power dynamic in a sense. And it solidified, I think it's when Utena kind of just full on starts to be like, you yeah, know, this is me, right? I I have accepted myself, yeah. right, and my role, right? And then the blue haired girl also has a moment like that in the same it's the same thing. Um, and the way that they do that, in my opinion, was really good. And it's it's annoying because I don't want to hype it up too much, right? But it's it's I think that if they pull that one scene off, I think that's gonna be the part that makes or breaks the anime Yeah. Almost. So uh so episode, we'll see the, what happens. The title for episode five is uh Nero Alice in Wonderland. So uh, I Okay, yeah, much... so it's gonna be Alice, yeah. Yeah, so Alice is the little the lolly yeah, um, the girl. Alice yeah. girl with blonde hair, etc. And she's and she's pretty interesting. There's some interesting stuff with Alice. So we'll see we'll see how they go with that. Yeah. Um uh, should I I'll uh, Metallic Rogue and just briefly go for gushing over magical girls. Yeah, let's go. So Naretto, you so, are you're teasing the next episode. Next when... episode. Next episode. Next, it will next, be next, next episode. episode. It will be next episode. Because now I think it's because of how they've um they, they've they, so what they've done is they've kind of taken so so, so the start the introduction to Alice mm. happened. And then what was going to happen last next episode in in episode I think we're at five so six right so episode six what happens in episode six was meant to happen after the first half of this episode but they took what happened after episode six with Alice with the doll and put that in the same episode so it's like an Alice episode mm. and there's been a lot of that with the show where they've been moving things around and kind of adding some extra anime original stuff as well to kind of make the pacing a little bit better for anime, right? Because with manga, it's not, like, it's a bit more episodic in the manga, right? Where you'll have, like, they introduce um, Alice, and then you'll have, like, a break, which will then be, you know, talking about, you know, because, I mean, the title of the next episode is The History of the Magical Girls, right? Yeah, the secret um, and so you'll have or something. That, yeah, the backstory, yeah. So you'll have, like, that and then it'll go back to Alice, right? So you have like the, the the you know the story gets kind of segmented, at least in the beginning of the manga before we start to have like actual arcs, right? It's it's a bit more episodic, right? But with the anime, my assumption is that the direction, right, the directors and whatnot, they probably want to have things kind of flow a little bit better and kind of be like, right, okay, we're going to introduce the characters, we're going to introduce things, and we're going to kind of do that, and then we'll go like we'll do things a bit more in a sequence rather than jumping around, right? Because it makes more sense. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense if half of the last episode was about Alice and then suddenly you get thrusted into the backstory of some of the magical And things, then right? going back to Alice. And then going back to Alice. So I think I think it's fine. I think it's fine for them to do that. It just means we got to wait one cuz cuz my god, I fucking hope that gets done well. I'm like it hinges on this oh, next. They, they haven't betrayed your trust this far. They that, haven't betrayed fine. my trust this far, but it like cuz I actually reread that chapter just to make sure I was like not fucking hallucinating. Yeah. <laughs> to, to make sure I was right and and it's like no, yeah, I was right, right? Like that, so the next episode is where um, I can't remember her name, but that's the blue-haired girl. The blue-haired girl and Utena have Sayo. a moment, and it, yeah, 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 Io, yeah. They have a moment that, and and to me, it is what solidifies their dynamic as characters with each other, right? It creates like this is the dynamic going forward, right? And I think it's very important for the character development to like to, for that moment to happen, right? And I think it says a lot about both of them as characters as well. So I won't I won't spoil it, but I'll just, that's that's kind of what I'm going to say. Been to talk it about up this for two weeks. Now. I've been hyping it up because I love it. I loved it. because again that was the I mentioned it last week, but that was the moment when I was reading the manga. Where I was like, okay, no, this is going to be good, right? This is going to be interesting shit, yeah. right? If they're going to keep if they're going to keep doing dynamics like they're like talking about like 
showing these dynamics between these characters like this, where all of the characters are going to start to have these different, like, you know, dynamics, right? I'm using that term to not use a spoiler term, yeah, right? Yeah. The dynamics between how they interact, that's going to make this series super interesting to read, right? To have that interaction between them, right? So that's that. That's why I'm hyping it up, because it was such a pivotal moment when I read the manga, I'm ho- I just hope that it is done well and we get those facial those fucking facial expressions. All right. Animals. So uh, um, I... to talk about the episode, the actual episode that happened, right? <laughs> talk about the actual episode that happened. Yeah, I'll yeah. let you go. I'll, first, I'll go first. I've, yeah. I've, I've 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 kind of ranted along, so I'll let you go. So I think <laughs> Alice is a kind of uh, as a mute girl. She doesn't have. She didn't speak a single word. Uh, word well, she her. when she tra- when she transformed, she spoke in the second half. So she kind of she 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 can speak, but yeah, she's mute for like ninety nine percent of the fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So that's kind of interesting, and the the even the ED also helps a lot, but it really kind of. Im- mm. Makes them the, the the three bad girls, the villains mm. are far becoming far more of a friend group very quickly. Mm. Uh, Ed also really shows them being a friends together, and being in an evil organization helps them be more socially outgoing with each other. That's good. Mm. Um. Very little in regards to interactions with, you know, their rifles, the the, the good girl, the good the magical girls. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'll let you go. I've already, yeah. uh, I've already done that. Um, I kind of, uh, if I if I want, you know, more plot progression, I was, I kind of missed some, you know, the in, some going forward direction into um, interacting with the magical girls and and Toma. If I believe, uh, if I'm saying it right, yeah, it's it's something like that, yeah. Um, but I appreciate a longer focused episode on Alice getting her properly and fully, uh, uh properly and fully introduced. Um, mm. I am curious to get more of her thoughts. It was kind of worrying when you know just seeing a note from uh, from her mother saying, "Go buy some food." Yeah, thing, but uh, it's fine. Mother is there. She, was, she, was, <laughs> she just she just works. She just works long she, hours. She was she, she was busy. Uh, she's happy that she has friends in Utena and Kiwi, so um, they're all fine. Uh, and I would like to see them continue being fine. Um, this is, but I'll I'll go back to uh, the previous episode real quick because there's an interpretation that I missed myself but i saw somebody else mentioning that in the la in the the previous episodes it started with uh utana uh sliming up uh the three magical girls and then she just leaves almost halfway through mm. um funny thing is is that then um, a uh, sulfur yellow it's frustrated the entire episode being annoyed, picking fights. Oh, that that goddamn clerk gave me a goddamn fork for this goddamn <laughs> uh, food. She, she's, she, she's very pent up. She's very pent up. And yeah. then when she has a proper fight, she's uh, she has released that pent up. That's just sex. <laughs> the battles are, are yeah are, are sex to them. Well, to her specifically. To her, right? So, uh, the, the, I missed that in, interpretation myself, but that's a that's a nice one. That's that. Yes, and that's and that's what I mean about like dynamics, right? Because mm. she her dynamic is she loves to fight. She's big. She's she's like big, not big. really like it, it. It's kind of like hinted a little bit in like the thing where it's like. You know, she's crowed, she's crass, she speaks in the Kansai dialect, she's a bit, you know, she's not like your typical magical girl material, Mm -hmm. right? She's not cutesy, she's not, you know, she has to, like, hide her, like, fists power stuff and not use it because she doesn't want to, like, give that image to the public, right, of her being a brute. 
Right. Well, she, I don't think she actually cares herself, but others might. Well, no, she doesn't care. She doesn't care, but she understands that like perception is important, and you know she's doing it to, because the other cat, you know, the, the fucking white version of the fucking cat thing is like, mm-hmm. no, we need to think about, need to think about the PR, please, no. <laughs> yeah, right, there is right, a right. there is a and it should be video in that right in um in what Magical Girls is, and is this kind of a parody of. How much merchandise there is of magical girls and the, yeah the yeah that... there's some there's some interesting stuff going on right but to get to get back to sulfur right as a character right she she's she's very much like being repressed by the magical girl stuff right she just wants to get a go out and beat the shit out of things have a good time release stress you know have fun but she's being repressed constantly by the the you know the mundane oh i have to go to this dumb photo shoot yeah. why do i have to do this dumb photo shoot i want to go you know oh this you know you know she's swearing and being all crude and stuff right so she that's that's what i mean when i'm talking about like dynamic she has a dynamic with utana and more particularly kiwi right where they both kind of play it because kiwi also likes to fight right kiwi wants to get in the big fights and have have big blow big up. fun time fights blow up things right have fun right so they both kind of bounce off each other as a dynamic right they both want to have fun utana also wants to kind of play her role as the villain and you know provide that outlet right and you know it so it's it, it this is this is why i think the show is and the series itself is really 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 interesting and really good because it's taking this idea of hey why don't we like examine these dynamics a little bit right let's let's showcase them and and have a look into like the inner workings of them and you can also i I find the um allegory for sex right very interesting because you could probably (laughs) make an anti-tube video like you said about that (laughs) and how how you make that kind of interesting interpretation of it right about how you know she's all pent up and she wants to kind of relax and she you know a lot of people do use you know masturbation and sex is a form of relaxation right um is is you know crazy as that might sound to some people right so yeah it's yeah there's a lot to talk about with gushing over magical girls it's it's not just porn ellie hey. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's not just porn how how uh, i didn't know where did you get this idea from oh no how <laughs> how where, yeah yeah what happened last stream yeah um so yeah, I'm hyped for next episode. I'm very hyped if it if it covers what I think it's going to cover. Um, it's going to be a very interesting thing. But there's also the fact that there's a lot of characters in the OP that we haven't seen yet, eh? <laughs> yeah, two is in particular. I'm I'm thinking what's going to happen is next episode's going to be what I think it is, and then after that we're going to get into the first like actual arc, um, where we're going to be introduced to some new characters and we're going to actually have an arc coming up next yeah um so that's that's what that's my prediction um based on my 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 foresight knowledge of actually reading <laughs> the source material um and knowing about it so anyway um i guess that's me done unless you've got anything else to say we can move uh on to- you've been, you stopped watching slave war but in a Naretsu, you lied to me oh do I? yes can we talk yeah we could talk about that now we could talk about how i got fucking cock blocked they fucking cock blocked me, Ellie. I was so excited today to talk about this the part that I'm I've been excited for. And then they didn't fucking have it this episode. God damn it. <laughs> and then the teaser for the next episode is fucking as as they're in trouble, right? Yeah. So I assume it's gonna be next episode. And I'm like, fuck! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> and Ratsu, you promised this twice two weeks ago. I in know! A row. I know it's annoying the shit out of me too, because I'm like, no, I want to talk about this. I really want to talk about it, but they keep fucking cock blocking me, Ellie. Ah, I hate it. But I guess, like, okay, in in the defense of the show, though, right? I feel like it did make sense because we had Alice introduced last episode, right? Like it was last week, right? Mm-hmm. I think it was probably a good idea to move things around, so it's like, okay. We introduced Alice, so now we'll have like an episode of Alice interacting more with one of the magical girls. Because it's kind of building the dynamic a little bit, right? 
You get what I'm saying? Because you have obviously Kiwi and the, ye- the yellow girl. I forget the name, right? Um, yeah, Sulfur, at least. Sulfur, yeah, Sulfur. Kiwi and Sulfur, they have the fight fight dynamic, right? They 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 big fight, big want to beat the shit out of each other, mm-hmm. love love the combat. You know, they're crass, right? They're both they're both similar in that respect, right? And then you have U- U- you know Utana and Azura. That dynamic is coming. <laughs> I fucking fucking want to talk about it. And then Alice um, but, and Magenta. Yeah, Alice and Magenta have a like we we've seen a bit of a dynamic form between those two, right? So it's so we are getting kind of what I'm talking about, but it's just the one that I'm really excited to talk about hasn't happened. Yet. I'm so angry. I'm so fucking angry. Um. So 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 yeah. What what did you think of the episode then? I'll let you. Um. I was kind of you know because you uh, you kept promising yeah. the next episodes to be something that it wasn't. Um, I did also have um, I had a small think a thinky about the the structure of the episode, and I do notice that there is they keep it all this stuff still kind of falls within a status quo, so I mm. can kind of I can understand that they want some status quo character building up before some mm. more radical changes. I mean, I I mm. you know. Adding more characters is a radical change in in a sense, but this is still, of course, a kind of building up phase. Also, mm. there is some effort in having the the magical girls uh, have some development. So far, yes, got some extra background. Uh, Magenta got some background in a previous episode. But we haven't got a zero yet, <laughs> and that is so so because it's chapter ten in the manga, right? Chapter That's ten in the manga lot. is is yeah yeah chapter ten in the manga is the is the Azura. So I I knew it was going. I reckoned it was going to like. Here's the thing: if that like it's gonna be weird because we're already like halfway through the season, right? Like them spending like so much time kind of on this is kind of interesting to me, which means we're probably gonna get like the last half of the season is gonna be like the next arc, right? Like I think it does kind of make sense to end on the Azura part. Like, even though it is technically out of order, because I think the Azura part happened before the Magenta part, right? Because they did have a few chat. Like each one of these has kind of been a chapter in a sense, right? Mm-hmm. Um, or like parts of chapters, kind of mixed and matched and moved around. So, I yeah, I find it I find it interesting how they're doing it and how like the change of the like the where different things happen is adjusting like the pacing and stuff of it compared to the manga itself. So so that's an interesting thing to talk about. But it does make it really frustrating for me because I'm yeah. like, I God, I, I really want to talk about that dynamic because it's such an like there's a lot going on in that dynamic between those two. Um and that doesn't get like solidified until it shows up in the thing. And the way it's done in the manga, because I've actually got it open right now, and I'm re- <laughs> I've got it open right now. The way it's done in the manga is so, it's like a fucking, a switch gets flipped. And it's fucking great. It's it's like, every, yeah, it, I, I, oh, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to ah. spoil it. Like, I'd so, send so, you some no, fucking, it's, no, it's, I would send you screen caps, but it's like, fuck, I don't want to spoil it. No, it's, oh. First up on the anime list, Ellie. Uh, really let me press button four, and it's gushing over magical girls. I wasn't cock blocked. I wasn't cock blocked, Ellie. They finally did it. They finally did it. We finally got the episode. I can finally fucking talk about it. What did you think? Uh, Naretsu, I am afraid you hyped it up too much. I kind of expecting a resolution, and then it wasn't in the no, episode. Ellie, Ellie, you're not gonna get. No, this wasn't about the resolution. This is. This is the establishment. Yeah. This is the establishment. It's not going to get resolved until late. Well, uh, resolved is the wrong word, right? Because what happens is, is from this point onward, that relationship's going to develop, mm-hmm. right? And then we get to a later chapter where it, where, where we start to say... So, because I don't want to spoil the entire show, like, not the entire series, I guess, because sh- I don't think the show's going to get that far. 
because because yeah, because there's other stuff that's about to I happen. Mean, with, with, with how much you said it jumped around, I do expect a part two of this coming very soon because they really left it like. Uh, uh, Utana left kind of unsatisfied, and she's kind of still confused. I don't recall when in the manga it it comes back up again, because we're about to enter into a completely new arc with the new characters showing Mm -hmm. up, right? I don't remember if it happens during that arc or after it. I think it happens after it. I think because they go to the beach. I think there's a there's a point where they go to the beach, and that's when we see sort of half, like, sort of the resolution slash next part of this relationship. But I don't remember how far ahead in in the in the in the series it is. But this is so. I want to talk about this because it, the establishment of this is interesting, right? And I think that the anime actually added more to it because there's a lot of anime original. So the, the, I, cause I reread the chapter, right. Mm -hmm. And and like, just, just to kind of like remember what happens, right. And how it happened and to get screenshots. Cause I took some screenshots from the actual manga to send in the chat. Um, All of the stuff at the convention doesn't happen in the chapter. Yeah. So all of the stuff where she goes to the the magical girl convention and she's kind of brooding and and you know and all of the stuff with the um with with, with the you know Utena and her doing that stuff um yeah so yeah yeah Bio's just saying he can go into more depth about it later yeah no Bio thanks for that you did a good job it was good yeah we 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 you know we appreciate it because like I said we we're not we're not as knowledgeable about this stuff as like you and full so we figured you know I figured I'd send you a DM just to get your opinion on it so you know it's all good thanks bio have a good one um so yeah so all of that stuff was anime original and it's very interesting because I feel like it kind of adds to the point right because the whole idea is it solidifies that Utena likes isn't just a sadist right she's not just into causing pain and you know humiliating the magical girls what she wants is she wants the magical girls to fight against she wants the struggle to win she wants the struggle she wants the she wants them to overcome right the 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 obstacle right Mm. and so she's got these this kind of interesting duality to the to the sexuality, I guess, where it's not just oh, I'm getting off to inflicting the pain. She's really excited by the 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 the, the narrative, right? If that makes sense. Yeah, I guess it. it's it's very interesting, very interesting. And then you contrast that with Aqua, right? Who's obviously developed the submissive, you know personality type Azure, yeah Azure. yeah Azure, Azure. oh yeah shit it's because they're blue <laughs> it's because they're blue i'm getting my a words my a blue words wrong right so Azure, right she she's obviously developed like this 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 fetish right because of because of utina right and you see sort of like the beginnings of that as way back as episode two right and it's kind of progressed right and now it's come to a head where she's basically been broken by Utena, right? But Utena has kind of bitch slapped her in a sense and been like, no, you, you're meant to be a magical girl. You're meant to be the, the pillar of justice. You're not meant to give up and become the slave, right? Yeah, yeah. You have to fight. You have to, you know, get bigger. And I think it's kind of good that they leave it at this point because it kind of gives you that cliffhanger for more, right? Because it's like you said, right? It's not a resolution. It's it's a... Well, it's like you said, you wanted a resolution. Well, it's not a resolution. It is the beginning of the data point, right? It is mm-hmm. this is the start of the relationship in full, right? And as the series progress, you start to see how both of these characters kind of fill their roles more and more where, you know... Obviously, Azura is into the stuff that Utena does to her, right? But she also has to now, un- now, now that it's been solidified by Utena, she has to now understand, no, I'm still a magical girl. I, st- I have to find some way to fight as well while being, you know, aroused by what's going on, right? Um, 
and it's fascinating stuff to me because because I find this kind of subject about you know sexuality and stuff fascinating. It's also very interesting because it ties back into the video we just watched with the guys like talking about you know because because that guy doesn't understand fetish development in the same way yeah. that, you know is happening right now. So overall, this was actually exactly what I wanted. I was very impressed with how they handled it, and I think that the anime original stuff adds to the point because it shows. You know, it basically hammers that home because in the manga, it's basically you only get her moping at the shrine, talking to the white mice mascot character, and then and then it goes straight into the fight, right? Yeah. But you don't get that. You don't get that slow build up of her kind of being melancholic and trying to figure out what to do, and seeing how people, you know, view the magical girls and having that yeah. contrast. Uh, it's look- very. It's very. I thought it was handled very well, and. I think it 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 makes the adaptation worth watching, right? Because it's not a direct like, oh, this is just exactly what happened in the manga, frame by frame. It's like, no, they're actually adding to the source material. Yeah, that was my it's very th- good. That's still my problem with uh, Dungeon Meshi, that it's I don't feel any added value from watching the an- the anime when I mm. read the manga. Same is of course uh, the same true for, for Slave. Yeah, nice. yeah, I was going to mention that too, and I'll mention that when we get to it. Yeah, right. So, so this is actually a this is a fantastic anime. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh... it's probably one of the best things to come out this this season and this year, just because it's like you know so far, just because of how they are handling the adaptation and how it's been, you know, how they've moved things around to make the flow better, how they've changed the way. Like, I wouldn't say like it invalidates the manga. The manga is still like superior in a lot of ways. Like, I mean, you've seen the the faces, the you know, the artwork in the manga, mm. right? And how it's how it does look a little bit better in some cases, right? But I do think that this anime, like, if you were going to look at it as a standalone product, right? It's not an that's on its own. It's it's it, yeah, it's great. It it works really well. It's it's fantastic. I would have no re- no problems recommending it. So do yeah. you have any final thoughts? Uh, before I we am on? interested in the future arcs because you know as a as a mm. filthy secondary, uh, I am interested in the Azura's heart emblem broke kinda, but then mm. she left. So I'm wondering how that is. She's going to be more resilient against the you know the the, the elders, the evil elders. The, the sisterhood uh, is he's going to be yeah, stronger. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember what the group's called, but they're like the other group of dark magical girls. Like yeah, the, the, the evil ones, um, yeah. they're they're. I I feel that they have been around for a, a little longer than our three main uh, evil girls. Yes, uh, yes. So I wonder what if there uh, what conflict between the elders and the, the magical girls and our our you know sexually developing evil girls against the elder girls because i feel conflict mm. there between uh, in the future mm. i'm interested so uh but yeah you you said a lot and i agree with uh, most of it you agree you agree with pretty much my assessment but yeah. the, besides <laughs> of course not having read ahead so i can't so i'm yeah. left a little bit wanting because you know just like how yeah Utena... because it's because di- it's yeah because it's different you know because with me i've seen more of the payoffs i guess yeah right? so i the... Oh, don't worry, it's just my calendar going off. Um, yeah, I've seen more of the, the 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 payoffs as it goes along, right? Whereas with you, you you're you're just kind of getting like the taste, right? You're getting, yeah, like, because the you hits. know Utena was was standing on the roof and she was looking. She was a little bit down herself also about how she didn't handle si- the situation very much well herself, and. I, of course, as somebody who doesn't know anything at all, I thought, damn, Utena, you should have, you should go back and do better, right? Mm. Or fix mm. this as soon as possible. And then the episode ends and it doesn't happen. So now I'm left from, damn, I hope she'll fix this relationship. How all the, yeah. how strange it is, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. we'll have, we'll keep watching. We'll keep talking about it. And yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hold yeah. gushing over magical girls. Yeah, yeah. Another show that we can talk about. So, 
I want you to go first because I I'm more interested because because I obviously know what's going to happen. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like I already I already know because I'm a manga I'm a based manga reader, right? Primary. I'm a filthy secondary. Um. Yeah. I, so I'm more interested to get the opinion of someone that's going in new, right? That's that's new to it. Right. All so right. What do you What do you have to say? So so last week I was I didn't join you in your super super hype moment of finally. <laughs> Uh, uh, the, in, finally in, they taught they brought they established it yes <laughs> the moment because this is kind of what this episode was kind of bringing with the kind of what i missed from the previous episode kind of what was azura going to do with this reject rejection and i kind of mm. got an answer for that uh so i'm happy i'm happier with the previous episode now that azura Yay! has a plan of action Following um, it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll let, I'll let you continue. I do want to. I do think that I want a little bit more of what uh, Utena is going to do with that situation. But I will just wait and see until they meet again. And Azuru will say, yeah. I won't give in. And then. Utena yeah, says, you're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna get the payoff until the next meeting because what's what's kind of happened with that is like both of them have obviously split paths, and we've uh -huh. got obviously the arc with Utena and the new the new characters that we can talk about, and then you also have Azura going off with the other girls and doing training, right? Yeah. So, so th there's gonna be like those two characters have kind of split apart now. And then eventually they're going to have to come back together. And it's when they come back together that you'll get like the continuation. Yeah, right? I, so. I got that. Uh, so, well, yeah, the, the Magical Girls was also kind of, you know, almost uh, pressed away from the story uh, kind of aggressively in a sense to make way for the actual plot of our protagonists to yes we have about. we have plot the plot has has appeared from the ether <laughs> we have from, plot. from their hands magical girl hands and yes immediately starless hmm mm. i guess i guess yes you picked up on that didn't you you picked up on the stars didn't you yeah oh. Well, so did you moment... notice did you okay i'm gonna ask you a question about utina have you noticed something about that that happens with the design of utina every so often you actually uh, have an example of it on screen i i well the, this example is very obvious i didn't notice it in the last episode uh if you well it it was there if you yeah. paid close attention because and and it's so they're establishing the concept of the stars now, but mm. it's something that has been present in the show. But most people would probably just think of it as like a design thing, right? Like it's just like oh, there's stars and the and the thing. But then you but then you see Utena here, right? Mm. She's got two stars in that picture, and her eyes have turned into stars. What's going? Oh, 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 so yeah. <laughs> what could this? What could this potentially mean? Ooh, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. This is this is of course the speculation on my part, and it mm. feels like how many more how uh, the amount of stars you have kind of feels like if you're more true to your desire in a sense, if you're more mm, maybe maybe in maybe. in in that kind of sense, right? Because our idol character is very much open to be an idol character. Yeah, she and, wants to be the big idol, yeah. Uh, but she's still kind of... Uh, she's restrained is somewhat still, but she, mm. she's very open in her desire to be an idol. So she has three stars. Utena is preserved most of the time, but still managed to have two stars because she's... I guess very easily well voted into. You'll notice, you'll notice, but you'll notice that the stars only appear in certain moments, right? I did check, and she has al uh, almost always has has two two stars. Yeah, but she's got four in that picture. Yeah, but I <laughs> plus the eyes, which would actually be six. I don't think the eyes actually count, though. Mm. Maybe, maybe. I'm I'm not spoiling, I'm just saying. Because yeah. the thing is, is a lot of this is the design motifs hinting at things. Right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The design motif the design motif is hinting at future events, right? 
So it is actually interesting to watch the series and kind of I'm like with my future sight, right? Because I'm so <laughs> right? I can be like I can be like, oh shit, they were hinting about that even back then, right? Because 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 of the schedule, right? Because you only get like a new chapter like once every like two weeks or whatever, mm. or once every whenever they get translated, right? Like you kind of forget things over time, right? And you'll be like, oh shit, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll let you continue. Yeah, so. Um, I did check the previous episode, and she had stars, and then on the also on the other side of her face also. So, I I kind of just mm. assume that whatever stars appears on her right side here also is on her left side. So there's four mm. stars on the on the side that you can clearly see. One, two, three, four. Uh, there are also four on the other side. So in my mind, she has eight stars right now mm. in that image in the bottom right uh, mm. in, on mm. the screen. Mm. And that's already double of uh, Enorma. So... And, and, and it's like I said, like they seem to appear and disappear based on certain conditions, right? And so the, the very... condition is more yeah. of a true-to-your-desire goal kind of thing that I mm. see. Mm. And it mm. kind of feels... You know, uh, and makes kind of sense in our starless character, Kibi, or Leopard, mm. that she's kind of meandering about not really... She does, going... She's just wanting to fight, right? She's not, you know, she doesn't... But, she's, she's, you know. but she, she wants to fight, but she does it for attention, but then doesn't really seek the center of attention in the fighting with her. Because she easily shares mm. the, the stage with Utena and even lets Utena do most of the things. So she doesn't... Feel like she has a, a real. She hasn't big... come into her. She has. She hasn't come into her own. And then you've also got Alice, who already has like, three stars. The forehead stuff. Yeah, I think it's free. I, I don't know. If it's more. It's hard to tell with the hair, right? So uh, it, it's free. We'll just say. Free we'll just say. We'll, we'll just say. Yeah, we'll just say free for now because we don't. I don't remember. Although I don't know has. exactly what she wants because you know Utena wants wants to be a sadist. Enorme wants to be the leader, I guess, and I well, I don't. I think "want" might be the wrong word. I think it's more "is," right? Like she is a sadist, but it's more how much does she accept or like uh, allow that side to show, right? If that makes sense. Yeah. Like it's lesser. It's, I I don't think it's like oh she wants to be the sadist. I think it's more. No, that's what her desire already is. Like she already has that trait, but it's how much does that sort of seep through, and how much does she allow herself to be kind yeah, of because, you know, you know, uh, taken by that desire? Our Mac mascot character does say another shackle for heart unleashed. So stars mm. kind of would be an unshackling of yeah. restrictions placed upon yourself. Kind of deal. Yeah, I, I I would agree with that assessment. Yeah, it's like it's more, it's less about like wanting the thing and more that's what you 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 have to accept the thing. I guess. I don't. Know, the it's it's still it. kind of vague. so with Alice. So with Alice, it is yeah, it is very vague. Yeah. So with Alice, it's you know, I I don't know what it would be possibly either. Um, I would I would have to think about. Yeah, it but uh, just to mention, uh, Enorme is just a. Cruel is just cruel. Uh, yeah, and, she's a bit of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, and and Utena <laughs> doesn't really. Well, Utena doesn't really do it consensually either, but she does search and look for limits. Uh, yes, so and, you're so there's a there's a there's a sort of conflict there where, and you see that when Utena is kind of you know chewing out the mascot character in the hospital. Mm -hmm. because she's like you don't understand the importance of magical girls you don't you're like you don't how could you allow them to kill the magic you know like to break them right like th that's not what this is meant to be right which kind of shows you that for utina it's like i was mentioning when we, i mean and we had that solidified the last episode of course right because she was like um when when, when she's you know chewing out um azura right she's like how could you you know break fall to darkness so so quickly you're meant to be the strong magical girl everyone looks up to how can you do this this is just and she's disgusted by it right 
that's like the key thing that you got to take away from that is that she finds the idea that the magical girl would give in and give up disgusting. So now she's met a character whose main goal is obviously world domination, right? But also she doesn't care about the magical girls. She sees the magical girls as an obstacle also, but more, to more, destroy. Uh, more on a personal level, right? A normal yeah. has no qualms in destroying the person, their dreams, their hopes, mm. and so on. Utena very much in in, in uh, very much respects magical girls. But I suspect also that she kind of wants to leave. Um, doesn't it, uh, it? It doesn't exist in English. I guess what I'm going to say doesn't wants to. Oh, doesn't want to rob people of their value, right? If anything, it's the exact opposite. She wants to. She wants them to be stronger. She wants them to overcome her. If that makes sense. Well, right? Enorme but is she... very much willing and able to to. Oh, you're in my way. You don't. You disapp even just yeah. disappoint me. Then I'll just remove your 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 self worth. I'll take that self worth away from you. Mm. And that's not an mm. Utena thing. No. Uh, so so you have so you do have an interesting and that's this is that's obviously set up the conflict for prob probably the rest of the show I think we'll probably be also, spending the next it's like, of course few episodes a, on this. In, in our good old uh, sexually awakening of of our teenage characters. Uh Enorme is doing it the wrong way. Uh it's all fun and games in your Edo mangas of, of mind breaking and all that whatnot, but uh gushing over magical magical girls does take uh, sadism, masochism, masochism, a little bit more serious, mm. and kind of you know clearly shows uh, Enorme well, is doing it wrong. Well, something you should also consider is that she's also older than the rest of the cast. Um, the 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 Emume or the yeah the, the, sister the, the sister is I'm... kind of an unknown quantity at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, those two. So, I believe that the nun girl and what's her name? I think they're like I can't, I'd have to look at the profiles again, but I think they're in their twenties. I think. Enorme gigant. So, I'd have to look. I'd have to look because it'll be in the um the the profiles that you get in the manga. If you mm. go to the manga profiles, it'll tell you what their ages are. But I I don't quite remember. But I do, I do know that they're significantly older than the rest of the cast. So. It's it's something to consider with how they kind of treat things. So so yeah so so yeah so we got to got a good introduction to Idol Girl and she's pretty cool. You mm -hmm. know she 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 wants to be the big Idol Girl. She wants it, but she can't sing for shit. No, <laughs> I like how they um presented that because in the manga obviously you don't have singing like you can't actually hear it right. Mm -hmm. So I found it interesting how they had the VA kind of try to sing it off, <laughs> you know, like they try, and that's actually diff more difficult than it sounds, right? To like have the VA deliberately sing badly, right? It's actually harder than you'd think. So that 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 was actually kind of cool that they had the song play and it was and it was both cringy as cringy as it was presented in the manga and it sounded bad, right? Kind of hits at home quite yeah, a, quite it, a bit. It sounded like the the pitch was all over. There there was no harmony in the in the tune. They see it felt like she was ahead and beyond the, the lyrics. Yeah, uh, yeah. Out of it rhythm. was it was very well done. It was very well done. And I think it speak like the overall quality of the anime has been really good, right? Like I've I've been very impressed with like it's so weird comparing it to Chained Soldier, you know, like. The amount of love that's gone into gushing over Magical Girls as an adaptation versus Change Soldier, which feels more like it's just, you know, corporate carbon copy of the manga, copy paste, you know, just animate it, right? With gushing over Magical Girls, it really feels like they gave a shit, you know, and they wanted to do it justice, mm -hmm. which is so interesting. Um I don't know whether or not maybe it's a staff thing. I'd have to look into the staff of Chain Soldier. I do know that the direct one of the directors or assistant directors on Gushing Over Magical Girls was one of the people that worked on To Love Rue. So perhaps that has something to do with it. But 
no, it's it's very very interesting. Um, the I, I do think maybe that the 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 um the conflicts and characters in Cushing Over Medical Girls are a little bit more serious and relatable, mm. I guess, than the ones in Chain Soldier. Even though in Chain Soldier is still as you know, lost family and yeah. meeting expectations and all that whatnot. Um Cushing Over Magical Girls touches a little bit more of a deeper because mm. And because also Utena is kind of interesting, is growing more interesting as a character in that she is kind of an introvert, but not necessarily one that shies away from talking to people. Yeah. Because she, she's hap she happily talks to, uh, uh, and, uh, she, when, when Alice goes to bully a robot, she's, she's kind of, you know, Alice, stop mm. that. So she just isn't mm. shrieking away, uh, and uh, she openly declares her intent to crush other people. That's not yeah. very introverted, like. Yeah, because, yeah, she's gonna crush these new this new group. Yeah. So we so we've got so we've talked a little bit about Idol Girl and our Commander Girl. Do you have any possible thoughts about the other two? Um. I know I don't really catch anything from their name or outfits necessarily. Uh, mm. Sister is kind of a thing, interesting thing, a little bit, in that she says she doesn't want to, but she sure looks like she wants to beat people up. Mm. So that's kind of a a. I'd keep an eye on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd keep an eye on that one. Um, the so blue hoodie girl, she she's also kind of you see a few hints of her as she's well. She's not like, entirely oh. in favor of this group as a whole. Yeah, she's she's a bit she's a bit more. This is cringe. <laughs> yeah, in, in all, in you know, in she wasn't a big fan of the torture. She wasn't a big fan of the name. Uh, mm. she's kind of you know maybe she can pew be peeled off as the idol and also the idol girl because she's kind of mm. being treated meanly and uh, mean yeah 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 you'll probably find out more about hoodie girl as we go along um but they yeah she's she's quite interesting she she's quite an interest like both both hoodie and idol are quite interesting characters you're probably not going to find out too too much more about sister but she's she's got some stuff going on that's a bit more behind the scenes let's just say there's some, yeah, <laughs> there's some stuff going on with you let's go to and i don't want to i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spoil anymore but yeah you have to click it yep it's time to talk about uh my favorite show my favorite show so what did you think of this episode ellie would you, you good show it's it, it kind of um it, it kind of continues on uh what i've kind of wanted from azure uh, mm. her her uh, self discovery. Yeah, we're getting we we we're getting we're getting some 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 flashes of that now and then. It's it's you know it's it's in the background. You know, it's still there. You know? Yeah, yeah. The author, so... the author the author is reminding you, hey, we're getting some progress on that regard. Yeah, it's happening. Uh, uh Sam, we'll, we'll, I'll answer that. We'll answer that later. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, uh. What I I mentioned like two weeks ago that I was missing some resolution in the in the scene that you, in the episode mm. that you were hyping up to uh, to affinity. <laughs> uh, these bits are really what I want from that that stuff, and it it's still, yeah it's still continuing on. I am very curious on the in the weapon she will get uh, later on from this yes yes and and it's as i said before it's kind of like we've had these like diverging plots happen right so it's like the two the two have split apart and they're doing their own things and then eventually they're going to come back together and then you're going to get like the this not necessarily the resolution but you're going to get the the come back together of the of the of the of the two two diverging plot lines because right now we've got the um the plot lines with the new characters right We've got the, the the civil war, I guess you could describe it as yeah. between 
her and um, the, the other girls. And then you also have the training arc for Azura, right? And how that's progressing. So very, very, very... I, I, I remember reading it, and it was, yeah, it was very good in the manga as well, how they handled it. Being able to kind of jump between the two sort of plot lines. So what did you think about the other side of it? The, uh, uh, we, we got to I find was... out. We got to find out about about our idol girl a little bit, and we may we may or may not have seen an interesting little, <laughs> an interesting little, little awakening happen. Yeah, during, very during much. Uh, her 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 apparent love for her her, her dormant now uh, open love for expressionism. Uh, mm. Apparently, she seems better now. So, all right. So, so I'll explain this a little bit, right? It's because it's not spoilers, because it's obviously what's happened in the yeah. episode, right? So, the general idea behind this is it showcases the difference between um, our, our main girl and the 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 bitch, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, 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 because 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 when when she was getting whipped, right? She's forced to strip. She she gets. Oh yeah, I got that right. I got that. No, no, yeah. I was I was going I yeah. was going to go there later. Yeah, well, we could talk about it now because I'll bring it up, right? So, so there's a the, this this episode shows that duality, right? It shows the difference between how the 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 the, the other chick is using the sexuality and the the whipping as a way to put the girls down to keep them in line, right? To put them down. Whereas our girl Utana is trying to rise them up, right? She uses it as a method of, like, she, yeah. Because because even even during, while it's happening, Idol Girl is saying, oh, she's just like the other girl. She's forcing me to strip. She's embarrassing me. She's just trying to do it. But in actuality, Utana is trying to ri- raise her up and get, get make, her, make her better, improve, more open, right? And that's what she cares. Because... Utena is basically doing the same. F- she's viewing this the same way she views magical girls, right? No, she's she wants much, people she's, to overcome. She wants to. She wants to be the TV villain. Yes, but no. Well, what I'm saying is, she's she wants these characters to overcome and become stronger. Oh no, maybe right? I should clarify. She wants to have be the indoor. She uh, wants to be play the role as a TV villain. Yes. She, yeah. Exactly. She wants. She wants to be that obstacle and to cause the hardships that cause characters to become stronger. She doesn't just want to put them down like the other girl does, right? Yeah, no, and she, you see she that was just, she, she was see, vindictive see... and mean and, and mm. even, I mean, just stripping naked was a kind of a punishment yeah. on, on, on of itself, but then threatening to crush the things that she likes... And then whipping and the physical pain aspect of it, yeah, yeah. So, so you see the the duality between the two. Oh characters yeah, here. I saw that. Kind and of it sits. Yeah, well, I'm talking to everyone in the chat, not just oh. you, right? So you see the duality of the two characters and, and the difference in philosophy, right? And the difference in how they go about doing these types of things. And of course, the itchy itself was fantastic. I, I was, I don't recall if the first person perspective shot was in the manga, but I really appreciated that shot. That was a really good shot right there. <laughs> that was mm. great. That was fantastic. Um, and then of course you also get the idea that she sings better when she's naked, right? Which may or may not come, come into practice later because you also have to remember that we, we have, Shadow Girl as yes. well, who's who's also now um, part of the group, well, right? So what? So what's her really, deal going to be? She hasn't really we committed that to yet. either side that much. But, you know, well, she isn't we'll, really we'll a see what happens. Yeah, we'll I mean, see, I, I yeah, guess we'll, because she was we'll she, see what she didn't like her friends being whipped uh, all the time. So. Maybe, maybe next it, maybe next episode, Ali, we will see her awakening, and we'll get to find out what's the deal. What's the deal with the Shadow Girl? What's the deal with the Shadow Girl, Ali? Um, so, so there's, so yeah, there's interesting stuff going on. Um, I, I obviously, I already know what's going to happen, but I'm oh. not going to you know, say too much. Um, but it is definitely, um, I, I like, I my main comment is the way that they adapted it was really good. They did a really good job. I will say an interesting thing to note, though, 
is mm-hmm. in terms of the adaptation is that it was a lot more violent in the manga. Um, Utena actually gets seriously injured um, when Shadow Girl does, you know how she like comes out of the shadow and like strikes at Utena. Yeah. She actually gets a big gash on her chest. That's like an open wound that you see in the manga. That oh, you don't see in the anime. She doesn't get she doesn't get like she gets damaged and her clothing gets damaged, right? But they don't show the uh the open cut. I'd have to go find it in the manga and show it. She you. does bleed um, from her head, at least in this image that I have. Yeah, she bleeds from her head, yeah, but in the manga it was a lot more um it was like the battle damage was a lot more brutal, I guess, would be the way to describe it. I'll have mm. a look, because there's someone in a different Discord that I'm in who like oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, I've got it. Uh let me copy that image and i'll send it to you i don't think you'll be able to i don't think you'll be able to bring it up on the stream because it's probably gonna be a bit i mean then again you did bring up the um her being naked and singing so i guess Uh, i I think ultimately i I picked the lesser of the two yeah there you go you see what i mean you get what i'm talking about so she actually gets a pretty big gash on her chest going down to her going down her Braced down to red. Try so. risky here. Yeah, Ooh, it's gonna be risky. Hey, there we go. I see it. <laughs> Put that there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make, keep it small, so hopefully we yes. don't get fucking. We don't get to. That is, a, that is a long, big gash, indeed. Yeah, she yeah she gets she gets a yeah. So in the manga, the fight was a lot more brutal. It was a lot more uh, physical injuries happening, um, and of course, all of it gets healed. Like you know. Typical in seconds, magi- magical uh, yeah, girl show. Magical, magical girl healing. You know, it can be assumed that Alice maybe healed everyone up, right? You know, like you, you, whatever, right? It's not a big, deal. it's not a, it's not a, not a <laughs> Sam, Sam, Sam who's in your arms, right? Yeah, actually, it would have been cool if she got a scar, but I guess they don't, they didn't want to do that. But, but yeah, so, so that, so that's what, but there's interesting, you know, part of the, the reason and I've mentioned this before, why I find this more interesting than Chain Chain Soldier to talk about, is because they change so much, but the changes they make make it more interesting as an adaptation, right? It's not a one-to-one copy-paste. It's it, They are making these changes. And whether or not maybe this one was specifically just because of TV, right? Like, they don't want to show as brutal. Like, you could show the sexual content, but you can't show the violent content, you know? Like, that interesting difference in japanese well, kind of ratings and you stuff you know if if anything i would prefer that more because you know violence mm. is less socially acceptable thing to do than sex sex is a kind of a social acceptable thing to do you know mm, mm, violence mm, shouldn't mm. really be yeah yeah so but but yeah so that's why I find the adaptation more interesting to talk about because it it changed they they move things they've moved things around they've changed certain events the way that they animate certain things different to how it was presented in the manga it's not just taking the manga screenshots and just you know cut, putting an anime skin on it you know there's a lot of interesting stuff to talk about with Mad- gushing over magical girls it's a fantastic adaptation of the source material yeah you know? um... and it doesn't. And it doesn't invalidate the source material either, because you know you can read the manga and get a different experience than watching the anime. So that it's like you can do my, both. That was kind of my problem with uh, Dungeon Meshi, right? Mm, that mm. Uh, I I've read the manga of Dungeon Meshi for a bit, and then I watched the first episode of Dungeon Meshi, the anime. Uh, mm. Good animated and all, but. It was just the same as the manga, so I already with with barely yeah. any changes, so I didn't really even want to. Yeah, there's there's not much to talk about, right? And there's not much reason to watch it if you've already watched, you know, read read the manga, right? There's no real point. Uh, and that's that is an annoying balance in adaptation from from uh, a manga to anime, at least, is mm. that. Either you don't like the changes because the changes mess up something that you liked from what you read, yeah. or, or it is such a carbon copy of the manga that it doesn't really add anything new to it. Yeah, and then you have the rare case like Gushing Over Magical Girls where the adaptation adds or free to run, the experience. from what I'm told. From yeah, what I'm told, ch- free run 
the f the fight scenes in free run are very sparse and basic because you know fight scenes are hard to to draw in a manga mm. anyway and you have to be good at it uh they're so they're they're very good i get on a plenty serviceable in free run from about from what i'm heard but you know the fight scenes in free run in the they are super mm. cool they're they're epic they 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 do need 3d things when when oh, clicking out of obs when when Fern is running from the fight for a second, they do a 3D shot panning thing with parallax and whatnot. That's mm. super duper cool. That that's not a thing in the manga. That's only better. Inventing stuff for the anime that makes the makes it better. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So it's the yeah. There's an interesting discussion to be had about the the role adaptations play in, in the overall media mix and, and how much they should deviate from the source material. It would be one of those things that would be interesting to do a video essay on, actually. Like, just just how, like, Gushing Over Magical Girls would be a perfect example you could use for that, to kind of be like, right, this is an example of a show that really does a good job at doing an adaptation that does the source material justice, but also can be its own standalone thing, right? I would kind of if thing. if we're if we're going to workshop a video, then would I would I kind of pick uh, maybe I would go for free one because you know add in fight scenes. Well, you could do both. You know, you both, can do both. But let it, uh, I'll pick free run, uh, and I'll, <laughs> as a counter example, I would pick uh, Avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good. That's a good one. And there so, will be something like Overlord because it's very good, but it messes, it messes yeah. some minor things up. Yeah, yeah. So I guess we don't have much else to talk about from now. Mm -hmm. All right, Naretsu. All right. Shall we do Magical Girls? Sure. The Yuri fans are eating good <laughs> this week. <laughs> Yuri fans are eating good, aren't they, Ali? Yeah. They're eating, eat, eating real good. So you know, you know how we can solve. We get, you know how we're going to have to solve the localization debate? We're going to have to enter the room. <laughs> <laughs> we will be on the TV in a red suit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, what did you think? I'll let you, I, I always let you go first with Magical Girls, because obviously I'm a, I'm a based manga reader. So oh, I yeah, I'm a filthy coming, secondary. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um... It's more interesting for you to talk about it because you you were yeah, having a yeah. so, first time experience. So Azura was punched off into the sky with a star twinkling. Uh, yes, yes. The training, the training arc, still in the background, still continuing, still happening. But uh, this, the 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 setup is that either uh, Azura will just appear fighting uh, to fight Gigante or uh, the 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 slime monsters. Now that I mention it. I think she'll just find her weapon to fight the slime monster, and then that will be her real weapon instead of just freezing some water in the air. And mm. Retsu will know you have will have the answer. She let's just let's just say she's gonna get a weapon eventually. That's that's that's. The, I right. don't think that's a spoiler, but let's just let's just say yeah, it's gonna was, happen. She, they talked a lot about weapons, uh, getting weapons. Yes, so yes. she'll get a weapon, maybe even against the slimes because it's kind of pertinent right now. Um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna see how that happens next episode. But well, no, no, might not happen next episode. But we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, right? we're gonna see what happens. Uh, I kind of expected that uh, Kiwi actually was three stars. Uh, yeah, just because it, of her it's, outfits. It's, 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 it's kind of hinted a little bit that she's hiding her power level for some reason. Uh, a little bit. Um, but uh, yes, we got the confirmation. That she is indeed a cat woman. Uh, a leopard. Yes. A very interesting uh, transformation for her. Um, if we remember how she was even introduced in, 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 in the first place with her joining the organization because all oh, these magical girls are taking the spotlight away from me. They're... Uh -huh. You know, they're, they're, I, I'm gonna post post uh, nudes online to get you know to get yeah, more attention, yeah. more more attention. But then you look at this, you know, her her final form, I guess, quote unquote, might not be final form, but her 
upgrade form right is yeah. basically probably the most revealing out of any that we've seen yet right yeah and i it's the most it's the most revealing and yet she doesn't typically show it right there's this interesting kind of i am slightly yes. disappointed there wasn't a, some she actually had those free stores all along or you know mm. uh, ready to access at least uh, mm. I kind of would want. I I kind of wanted a little bit of an arc in there. It, I thought that I thought that it would be nice to have uh, for her. Yeah, I think I think it would have been. Yeah, I can agree with that. I think I think it would have been a cooler to have a full arc where we sort of find out more about. Yeah, it. because but, you know, Kiwi's, I oh I I diagnosed Kiwi as you know wanting attention. And her, uh, and I thought or have the feeling that the powers kind of relate to uh, your, your, your being true to yourself. And mm. I always thought that Kiwi was kind of hiding her, who she was in a sense. And just, you know, throwing your clothes off wasn't really enough for, for me to warrant the power up. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't it. satisfactory enough. No. To... Uh, so I, I, in a, in in my big criticism, zero out of ten. Uh, <laughs> zero out of ten. <laughs> I, want, I wanted. I wanted. I would want. I would. Have, I would have liked a little bit more of an arc, because I. I was surprised that uh, uh, Enorma was just attacking right now. I thought that our, the Kiwi arc was coming, you know, even with Fighting Sister, uh, uh, Enorme, uh, Gigante. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I thought that was coming in some way, but yeah, I want, I, I expected the arc and I didn't get it. And then, then I was, and then I'm thinking about how the arc could have gone and how cool it would be, mm, et cetera, et cetera. Um, no, I can under I can understand that. So let's get to the main event of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> Itana is a voyeur and a sadist and a She is a well, think of it from this perspective, right? So the reason she did this is because she obviously is not happy about the fact that they hunt the magical girls and mm -hmm. destroy the magical girls. She she likes the magical girls. She wants to protect, I guess, in a sense, right? Yeah. Uh, so the whole idea was, hey, I'm gonna force you to purify yourselves, right? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna purify yourselves. You know, big purity. You well, love purity, don't you? <laughs> you don't have your purity. <laughs> you love purity, right? As we've been well, discussing it, today. Uh, I from the from the little Japanese cultural knowledge that I know. Purifying is more in a sense of doing a ritual that absolves you from your sins rather than... Which does kind of fit with what, the, I believe, in Utena's own twisted way. That's what she's doing here. Now, if you, we want to talk about, like, stuff that I guess isn't explicitly said, right? You could argue that Utena doing this also kind of progressed these two characters. I, I can't remember. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, the, the, it's it's they they progressed in their relationship due to Utena's involvement in a similar way to last episode. Utena forcing you to sing naked caused her to progress, right, in her character. Mm. Right, she's become stronger in a sense. Right, so this seems to be an overarching thing for Utena, where to perhaps push people maybe forward. to put you know, push people forward not bring people down right through these actions um so yes we got some the the yuri lovers ate good mm -hmm. we got to we also got to find more about shadow girl because she she was a bit left out you know because we've already kind of sussed out uh, the the idol girl, you know, she wants yeah. to be the big idol, but she can't sing, right? Like she, you know, big idol, but she can sing if she when she's embarrassed, right? Her true, you know, it's coming back. Her true self mm. emerging, you know. Yeah. But with the shadow girl, we find out it's more a matter of oh, you know, it's a very typical, you know, a little bit stereotypical, right? She's you know left out, feels left out, hides in the shadows until the brighter character comes in. And then we get, you know, oh, she develop was developing feelings for her the whole time, right? And Utna's just pushed them 
giving them the little push, right? Give them the little, the Yuri push, right? Get, get, get yeah, Yuri I also push. kind of um, the dynamic of the two are, is kind of is cool in the sense mm. that um, she doesn't really care. She doesn't really care about all this idol stuff, but she does care to be. She well, because... she well she cares about the fr her friend. Right? Yeah, well, in a sense, because she she is interested in pushing her friend forward, even when when she is down, when she is just yeah, you know, she she is supportive of her, and it isn't like she is just hanging on. She does have a dynamic no. with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I, I want to convey. She's she's not hanging on, and when she stops, she stops helping. And if she does something else, she'll do the other thing. No, she also. genuinely, she genuinely wants her to be happy. Basically, yeah, she does genu. And this is interesting because I, I believe a uh, fella on Twitter that I quite like to interact with, uh, Finky videos, a, a certain temper, a certain temper on Twitter, started watching the show recently, and he had a little thread about it, and he was kind of saying stuff like, um, he was relating it kind of like fully coolly in a sense, where it's you know, there's a lot of stuff about you know coming of age. You know, sexual oh, yeah, we've we'll, we'll talked about sexual we, we, we've, we've talked about that before, but something something that because because he was you know wondering whether or not it was just him being drunk off his ass while watching yeah. it, or if, um, and I basically said, nah, it's good, and he asked me to kind of explain why I thought it was good, right? And so I had like this little interaction where I kind of went on a little mini thread, and of course, the people following me on Twitter, you'll probably be able to find it, right? Where I kind of explained why I think this series is good, and I kind of chalk it up to the as you've mentioned that word multiple times the dynamics right mm -hmm. the show slash series right talking about the manga and the anime together yeah, yeah is all about these dynamics right these contrasting comparison dynamics between these different characters and even within characters themselves right you have utana who is a shy girl but she's actually a sadist and she actually has different layers of complexity to her contradictions right she gets off to hurting the magical girls but she actually wants to make them more stronger right she wants to empower them right she she's shy and reserved but she's now being put in situations where she has lots of people around her she's making and, new well, friends right and, and that in those situations to, to cut you very rudely off she is kind <laughs> of she is very she is the leader of the group even yes. when she's not transformed, she is the leader. She does. She tells Alice off. She says that Kiwi should go here, come here, etc., etc. Yes. So she is. Well, well, she is shy, especially in, in the beginning. She's not really that shy overall. She's not shy to yes. not talk to to the to the you know the the, the people in the in the magical girl uh, shop. Right. Yeah. She's she's very assertive. No, I want this, and I would assume when the uh, shop owner says, mm. "I don't have it," she'll ask, "When does it? When well, is the why, next? Why, when does it come when, in? Yeah. When is it the yeah. next time?" So, so there's an interesting dynamic there, right? It's not like there is definitely like I mean, we could I I mentioned before, right? Shadow Girl, she is very st stereotypical. Yeah, it's a very typical story thread for that type of character, right? Well, there every character um, to to credit the uh, the the writing, even you know the shadow. What I uh, what I spe shadow basically girl. shadow girl isn't hanging on. She she ha mm. she has a dynamic. She has a back and forth with yeah, idol. There is there is complexity to these characters. They might have stereotypes, you know, like as the, what do the zoomers call it these days? The tropes. Right, they've got and the you know, sh the shy girl, the idle girl, the the you know the quiet lolly girl, the 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 boisterous kiwi. You know, kiwi is aggressive, right? You know, but same with the magical girl side of things, right? You have the 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 the, the leader slash motherly look after everyone, right? You have you know yeah, so and so and so and so, right? But these all are like while they're stereotypical and they're tropey, 
they have this underlying complexity that's been added to them that slowly gets kind of cranked out as the series kind of progresses and as we show these different dynamics interacting with one another, like Kiwi and Utena's relationship and how they contrast each other and their interactions with one another bring out other aspects within each of them, right? Same with even Kiwi and Alice, right? We got to see a little bit of that this episode where Kiwi is making like, have you noticed this kind of overarching mini story where Kiwi in the fight with the idol girl destroyed one of Alice's toys Mm. and so she buys her a Gundam and now she's making the Gundam for Alice because Alice can't make the Gundam herself, right? No, yeah. (laughs) And 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 Kiwi is getting frustrated because she's she doesn't know she also can't make a Gundam properly, right? Apparently she'll uh, she'll manage because in the E D she has a complete Gundam. Exact but you see but you see that's like that's what I mean. There's this entire subplot going on, right? in the background that you, you kind of have to pay attention to notice, right? There's this entire little, and that's like boistering the friendship between yeah. Alice and uh, Kiwi, to, right? To maybe uh, cut it a little bit down. The point I see is, is that Utena on her own is kind of, is kind of shy, but when she mm. is interacting with others, she is kind of the center. When mm. Kiwi is kind of on her own, she's aggressive and attention seeking. But when she is with others, she is kind of considerate and caring. And, you know, uh, even mm. though she does what she wants, she'll apologize and whatnot. Uh, uh, shadow Girl will stay in the shadow, play games in her own home as long as she wants. But when she, he, she meets Idol Girl, she'll help Idol Girl get better clothes and whatnot. So, yeah, well, and, and you know accomplish her dreams and so on. Yeah, so, so, so there there are always the 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 characters gain all gain depth as they um interact with other people, which is kind of what is more realistic than you might at first glance expect because I I mentioned mm. all, all these characters how they would all act and they would act the same throughout as that as that is their character, but this show, this series, takes a little bit more effort to ask uh, what there's do they, definitely, what yeah, happen definitely when they yeah. what happens yeah, when they interact? What happens when they interact? And there's definitely development going on, and that development is, you know, it might happen a little bit slow, right? Like it's a slow, it's kind of a slow boon in the development department, but it is there, right? Like, I mean, and we did see like, oh, now the idol girl and the shadow girl are more open about their feelings and their relationship after, you know, having to do the Yuri, right? Yeah. <laughs> but but the question now is going to be, how is that going to be reflected in the final few eps that we have in the show, right? I mean, obviously, I know for a fact it continues in the manga, right? But, you know, that's a question that you can ask yourself now is, right, okay, now that we've est- they've established this relationship dynamic, how are those two characters going to interact going forward, right? How is, is there going to be a change in the dynamic now that they have become more open about it, right? Um, and a, a part of that, I wanted to cap on with the Alice and Kiwi stuff, right, real quick, is you'll notice that Kiwi, uh, like Alice is genuinely worried about Kiwi, right, before the fight with, with the, the giantess girl, right? Mm-hmm. Like, Ki- like and, and Kiwi has to reassure her, no, I, I will think before I charge into combat. And you contrast that with... The first episodes where we had Kiwi, where Kiwi is constantly getting into the fights with, you know, the yellow girl, right? Constantly charging headlong in, constantly trying to, you know, get into the fight. But now with their relationship with Alice, right? And Alice genuinely caring for Kiwi and worrying about Kiwi, Kiwi has to be like, no, Kiwi, don't worry. I am going to be smarter about this. I'm I am confident in my abilities. I'm going to not I'm going to be smart, right? I'm going mm. to think about this, right? Yeah. And so that is why this show is so fucking good, right? It's such a great fucking show. It's fantastic. Also, the new ED is great. <laughs> yeah, the extra characters. Yeah, that's why I, I put it in as an image. Mm. The char- the ED has updated with more characters. I think I think like an overarching kind of kind of theme here is the attention to detail, right? There's a lot of attention to detail in this adaptation that I think like, cause they didn't have to do that. Right. 
it didn't have to like make an entirely well i guess that's just changing a few images out i guess it's not like they completely redid the ed right but yeah and sneakily you know, right, right, right to to to, bra- to 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 burst your bubble your to break your uh, to uh, to break into your dreams um having more you know character voice actor sing a song means you can sell two more versions of the song yeah (laughs) capitalism and and of (laughs) course the the full choir version with all five of them and the free of them and a version with the three of them but no but it is interesting though because i'm not, not you know you know it, it's like i said you didn't have to do that and it is an interest i think it's an interesting it's not just that there's heaps of it, little attention to detail things that they do right like we were just talking about the overarching thing with the gundam right like there's little little, little things that they add that i think elevate it so anyway what else have we got solo yeah. leveling Matching oh. over my magical girls hey hey <laughs> What'd you think? What'd you think, Kelly? What'd you uh, think? It's, got, it's surprising that how quickly this arc was over because it's only like a one and a half episodes almost. Uh, right? I don't know. It was like free, free. Well, episode, I'm kind maybe? of no. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember when did they introduce the the characters again? Was it was like three well, weeks ago. More, more of how quickly the final battle came by, right? Because. Mm. Uh, Lord, Lord's attack. Uh, that that the that Shadow Girl and Music Girl joined joined with the rest mm. with our characters was not that much of a surprise, uh, I suppose. No, 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 no. But no, that yeah. Lord would do her her final strike right after that. Not even a day. Not even a moment <sighs> between. I think it. I think it's kind of similar in the, uh, in the in the in the in the manga, um, where it's like, it's probably the pacing's probably different in the manga because obviously it's a manga, so maybe it's just because it's anime, and they have to kind of get through what they got to get through, right? Because I think we only have one, we only have one episode left after this, don't we? I think. Uh, so I'll, I'll check. Yeah. Uh, still, uh, uh, as, as the chat desperately wants to know. Uh, yes, no, we, I think, still, I think still we got make... we got two. Yeah, we got two episodes left. I think. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, don't worry, chat. There's still plenty of naked breasts, and <laughs> I want to fuck you real bad. Going on. <laughs> Did you see the one? Um, I sent you that picture. Yeah, from, I saw. Uh, I saw the. the, the... <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. I fucking cracked up laughing at that. It was so good. <laughs> so, so let's talk about it for realsy though. Let's talk about it for realsy. So, so obviously, yeah, we had the big, the big climactic final, final battle where we got to see uh, Le- Le- Kiwi slash Leopards. You know, she she's got big berserker form, but her, she has trouble dealing with big berserker form, and she she uses her brain to defeat the god the big, big, you know, giant esque lady right beats the shit out of her right um we get to see you get to see a li- you got to see a teaser of azira ellie did you enjoy yeah. that you got to see a teaser you got to see a teaser of what happened Water with her training goddess, Peter, priestess. Mm. Mm. big 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 teasers for for, for azira Leah. Maybe, hey, we've got two episodes left. Maybe we will get to the climax of that storyline in hey, time. I can't you know? <laughs> expect it to, uh, right now. It is. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'm hoping for it because it would be good if they did kind of. That would actually be a really good spot to end the series. Remembering what I remember yeah, from the manga. I'm actually, actually kind of more would, would interested really in, right? No, it's a secret, a secret. How much of a love hotel Nacht Base will be? <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. And how we'll much see. use it will actually get? Because I suspect it will actually get some use. Um, I believe it gets a lot of use hey. in later chapters. I, I believe it. I believe it becomes a permanent part of the world. I believe. Um, so, <laughs> so, 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 so that's like one side of it, right? So basically, we can divide the episode into stuff that happened in the real world and stuff that happened with uh Utena and Leda or whatever her name is in the, in the Lord. Yeah, Lord, I always forget her name. Um we got to see we got to see that. So Enormous. what did you think about the final fight? What did you think? Did you think it was quite <laughs> quite good? 
So I was kind of confused what was actually happening between Lord and Beze. Because, uh, uh, because you know, it, I, I get it that Utena just, hey, what if I just imagined myself to be big Onesan? And uh, uh, well, Lord. it was more. It was more. What if I just imagine her as as the the kid that she's acting like? Basically, yeah. But uh, it was it was kind of confusing in the beginning, and even ex after the explanation was the question. Well, do other people also see that? They, yeah, they yeah. Act like they do, <laughs> but it's all imagination on her part. So how is it affecting? Well, also. Uh, that was confusing. There's also how much of this is being fucked around with by our little mascot character as well. So, yeah, but especially since, of... especially when you consider that we're inside the realm, right? We're inside the 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 domain expansion, I guess, mm. or whatever you'd call it, right? Like we're inside that realm, so perhaps that you know what Utena is seeing is like being through the mascot character is being shown to the other characters, right? Maybe we don't. That's know. that's what's uh, going to happen. I... Maybe, maybe it's part of Utena's powers or something. You know, it's kind of like. Do you remember in the episode with um with uh, Alice and the, the 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 middle magical girl, the pink one, when they're you know when she's the baby. Mm -hmm. And how Alice Alice turned her into a baby inside her like her realm, right? Your domain expansion only hole. <laughs> yeah, domain expansion only hole. Um, like do you, yeah, but you remember that, right? Like yeah, obviously that, I, I but I I can buy that this that is pure imagination because they are playing imaginary. It's in Alice's it's in Alice's house, right? Yeah, it's, a, it's already in, a magical that, that's in the, yeah. magical illusionary place. So that's not surprising to mm. me. It's when other people outside of, say, a... a... Because Utena doesn't really have the ability to alter per perception in that way. So it was kind of confusing no, that I... how her perception also was shared by other people. That was my confusion, uh, really. Yeah, I can see I can see how that can be a bit confusing. Like, I, I, I just chalked it up to being, like magical bullshit right because yeah, because we're already in no we're already in the realm like my suspension of disbelief was like you know is like you know we're already in the realm of magical bullshit i'm not that surprised that your perception can be altered especially within like the realm of the mascot character and yeah, we find out I, obviously I needed some some later. something right something in advance to say oh yeah no i get you no i get you oh I get you. because I, I, you see it like this this world is reacting reacting to your consciousness but I or think, something i think you also have to consider like how we just like because Utena's power level obviously gets a massive increase and she because she gets a completely new form, right? Yeah, um, but how much this. is this? Is that just perception, right? That's that's no, no, it's not. She keeps that form. All right, but <laughs> she, but that that's... form, that form is one hundred percent real. Like you, that's, that's <laughs> what you're now spoiling for me. That's just that's oh, what, I know, what... I know. I'm but sorry, that's, that's, but that, I mean... that's that's a question I have. I thought... so... I thought I thought you would have like established that already. <laughs> no, no, because because Lord is small and Utana is bigger. So then I wonder. All right, is her even if are her, are her extra stars in this moment also an illusion? That's a, that's all these questions right. that I have I see when you start. At. If you start, but I'm, but I this. but I will I will I will I will burst your bubble. I'll all burst right. your bubble. Right. So, no, she has she has now gotten a a permanent power increase from this. Cool. It is, it is uh, per, uh, permanent power power level go up. <laughs> but right. I think. Be, but I, but I think episodes. it's important to. Uh, okay, uh, well, hang on. I'll let you. I'll let you finish and then i'll talk because i kind of want to talk about this myself <laughs> all right so so back to my all right my side of the, the watching the episode uh good detail to have lord's stars disappear with mm. each scene that's a good mm. detail uh i'm not into spanking myself all that much so uh mm. besides just mm. lord losing her powers it wasn't that much of a big benefit for me um our mascot character being evil or extra evil was good <laughs> well, fun. We kind, of, we kind of already knew about that, didn't we? We already <laughs> knew, but there was kind of a possibility that he had some good intentions somewhere, but no. Well, it's it's. I think it's less. See, it's not like he's evil. It's more like there's something else going on that yeah. we don't know. Yeah, 
uh, but now he's being more of an e in in this episode at least. He's being more evil than separate agenda kind of deal because yeah, well, he's evil towards he's evil towards Lord at least. Yeah, he's, he's and being... sister is a double he... agent for for him he, for 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 him. Yeah, it, but it's, I believe like it's it's very plainly established that he wants Utena and the other girls to get stronger for some reason. We don't know why. But he wants them to increase power level for some yeah, reason. Yeah, and I have a think, and I don't think he actually ever says that they need to defeat magical girls. So that whole campaign against magical mm. girls seems to be kind of unrelated to his own goals. Otherwise, mm. but he, he just says fight them, but never really. Well, yeah, because them. he doesn't really. Because I mean, if you remember back when uh, Utena, you know dominated a zero right the first in that and that you know in the park right mm -hmm. he, he does you know utina does say hey aren't you disappointed that i didn't finish her off or whatever and he's like no no you just you just do your own thing it's okay i don't mind you know <laughs> he's just like yeah but just I'm, like... Uh, I'm i'm uh, i don't remember exactly but i don't think he ever says you have to no defeat them he was only oh go no, fight he just them says you oh, have go to fight, fight them. them yeah go he just he, them. yeah he just he, yeah he just says go fight go 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 def you know Mo and most of the time it's like even after they've like somewhat dominated them they're just like no we gotta retreat now it's retreat time right you know mm -hmm. like this, this, this. so there's definitely there's definitely some underlying thing with him right and even uh, and i don't know if it's spoilers or not but like i, I even even up until current chapters we don't actually know what's going on oh, so man. so even i'm in the dark I, I can't spoil it for you because i don't know right <laughs> i can't yeah. spoil it for you because also is, same your but, last i see your last comment it doesn't show up on the youtube the yeah, YouTube it shows up on the live chat. It shows up on live chat. So, so I see it. Yeah, the girl boner truly can't be stopped. But so, so, so yes, I, I, I think that it's interesting how Utena gets the power up. Right, this idea that oh, she's she's getting defeated. Right, and she's getting you know she gets captured slash dominated by Lord, and Lord is doing the whole childish villain villainous big i'm an adult you know big adult whatever but she's actually acting like a chinibio right and yeah. utina is just like bored <laughs> she's just like this is so fucking boring <laughs> uh yeah she's like oh this is so boring adele how can i make this interesting and then she's like wait she's acting like a child wait a minute <laughs> she's like wait a minute and it's almost like you know those moments where like you'll see something happen and you have like a lewd thought right like something completely innocuous or like you have that, that it's like the intrusive thoughts win right <laughs> the mm. intrusive thought won and suddenly because the intrusive thought won and she imagined oh oh i could oh okay i'm gonna do that and then suddenly she gets a massive power up from that right the i and it feels like you remember we've talked about before like perhaps the power level is based on how true to your desires you are right how yeah. how much how powerful is your desire how true are you to yourself right your inner like dark well i guess the, not dark but lewd i guess in this case right desires right that indicates how strong you are and we also find out that a lot of lord's power was g given to her by the mascot character whereas the other characters are actually get, like the, their strength is their own mm -hmm. right and that's why Utena was able to overpower Lord so strongly, is because obviously the mascot character removed all of her power levels, or right? Or what just ran out, either, either or. Or it just ran out, or however. I, I view it as Lord was never true to herself. This is the way I view it, right? She wasn't true to herself. Her power was given to her by the mascot character for whatever nefarious reasons that he has to do that, right? and using her to do things, right? And then, obviously, when she outlived her usefulness, he removes that power, and because she was already not true to herself, her natural state is weak, right? She's got weak power level because of that, right? And that's kind of how I sort of view it, in a sense, is like, so Utena is very much more in tune with her inner desires and her inner self, than 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 what Lord was, and that's how she was able to overpower and spank the shit out of it. <laughs> um, 
So so yeah. Um so so yeah, so 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 there's definitely some interesting questions left. What has happened to Lord? Right? Yeah. Because obviously Giantess showed up and something something obviously happened there. Is she dead? Is she not dead? I'm gonna leave that up in the air for now. Um <laughs> we'll see what happens if we get a second season. Uh <laughs> we'll oh, see what happens. Not that. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, Ellie, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. We see her um, corpse in the second season, you say. Yeah, we see her corpse. We see we see like we get the gore episode, right? <laughs> we get the uh... episode about gore across the ground you get to see the blood stain where the goddess lady like yeah. crushed her with her boobs <laughs> or something but um but no so so there's some definitely some interesting interesting you know interesting developments and some interesting questions and i'm i'm hoping that next the next two episodes we get obviously the love hotel gets constructed in the in the you know the phantom mm-hmm. of the area and then we also get to see kind of what the magical girls have been up to, right? You know, we get to see what Azira's been up to. We get to see yeah, her power, I, right? I expect kind of one... Uh, Alright, so so storytelling-wise, I've been often mm. wrong, so don't trust me on this. Um, I expect one calming down episode, kind of. Yeah. And then one other episode with some big conflict and then, then a sort of semi-cliffhanger for... And the, the, fight, be- for the finale, And yeah. the fight continues. That's what I'm thinking too. I think because because based on where we are manga wise in terms of what's been covered, that's where I think we're going to end. And I've got a pre- I've got a pretty good idea of where we're going to end. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully, because I hope it ends there because I think it would be a really good place to end it because it leaves it it does leave it open to a second season if we get one right. And I hope we do. I really hope we do. I've been enjoying not only watching it but talking about it on the cast. It's been yeah. really good. <laughs> it's been really fun. Well, to, I kind of it's expect fun. It's, to. It, I kind of expected the second season, but just yeah. because there are ASMRs from Kodokawa itself. There yeah, they're, they're, plen- they're, they're pushing it real hard. Yeah, the plenty of been twi- real plenty big. of Twitter interactions with fan art and there's been and there's whatnot. been merch, there's been merch, and there's been like events that have been happening in Japan around it. So yeah, it's been be- it's been getting pushed quite hard. It's very popular, so. and people like it. So um... yeah, yeah. Yeah, how many how many chapters were covered per episode? Uh, I don't know. I would have to go back and look. Usually, it's like um two to four, two 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 to four. Yeah, I'd have to go back and like reread it to 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 think. Two well, chapters I've got a if it's slow, good... four episodes if they're kind of rushing and skipping things. Yeah, well, and the other thing to consider is we've had like they've moved things around and they've like changed the order of events somewhat in some some cases. So it's like it could be difficult to calculate it, right? Because, yeah. But anyhow, it's very good, as always. We uh, will let's be coming finish, back. Let's finish with Peak. I, I, I will forget to get screen caps and whatnot. <laughs> but let's go right, to well, number four, uh, Gushing Over Magical Girls. Hey! What'd you, what'd you think, Ellie? What'd you think? Yeah, you put the gif in! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's an MP3 uh, four, but anyway. Yeah, it's, it's a, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, anyway it's, what did you... It's a, kind of, it's a good cooling off episode after kind of a big... Uh, yeah, we had a big, big fight. Big, big, big things happen. Now we get it. We get to chill out a little bit. We got a little, you know, little calm down episode. Yeah, uh, Utena is not really feeling her position as big boss. She's kind of tired anyway. She goes yeah. to, uh, she hears about uh, that Azura is fine because she didn't know all this time. Yeah, she she's fine. Uh, no spoiler. <laughs> no spoiling the <laughs> final form. That was good. That was, yeah, I remember when that happened in the manga. That was great. <laughs> she said, no, no spoilers, no. Shut up! La 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 la! <laughs> and then um, she gets back her resolve to do the things she yeah, does. The, uh, yeah, she already does the, because, the entire time. Because, and, and, and it's mostly because she's realized what she's done hasn't actually harmed Azira, right? Because mm-hmm. she was worried, obviously, that she'd irreparably damaged her right and and she wouldn't be a magical girl in the same way anymore and she because because she obviously cares about the magical girls right to, to, to an extent even though she likes playing with them right yeah. so she so you know them having that interaction you know and and <laughs> she gazes into the gates of heaven <laughs> 
<laughs> and suddenly it's like, yep, she's back. <laughs> she's back, boy. Although it's kind of, I would be funny. I, I don't know her real her her uh, Saya, Sayo, Saya, Sayo. Yeah. I believe Sayo. Sayo, when Azura is go goes to meet a, a, a Utena again as Sayo, I wonder because Utena doesn't know that that it's that Azura is Sayo. No, no, they don't. So don't know, how is she going to handle that? Utena is a master of with fingers. <laughs> is a master of the of the the, the joys of the, the hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The power power of the hands. Um. <laughs> Well, I do think because I mean they met, they met at the the, the, the magical girl convention. Well, kind well, of. Well, she right? knows so, she knows that she's crazy. She knows, she knows that she's like she knows that she's big into the magical girl's massive fan. But now her. maybe maybe not in this way. But now she knows in this way. <laughs> yeah. So I'm wondering. How, I'm I'm wondering how this would go. Yeah. In the next episode. Yeah. We'll see. But uh, yeah, we'll see, where, see see how it goes. But anyhow. Fun, fun. Alice wants to have fun with her new toys, and so she'll yeah, just... Alice, Alice being Alice, yeah. <laughs> and we got we got a new fetish today as well. Giantess <laughs> <a> new... and <laughs> Giantess fetish, yeah, yeah. Very a very popular one. Not necessarily my thing, but you know, it's, it's well, a, I know, think it's like the, it. the upskirts kind of was was kind of also the upskirts fun. are pretty fun. I did, yeah, I I I, I quite I think. I remember because I remember reading this, right? I remember reading the manga, right? And I had a good laugh at the, you know, they pull down the panties, right? Because they're all stuck inside mm. the panties. And then she just boots them all. <laughs> she just, no, I've had enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was good. It was, it, yeah. So, so yeah, this was, a, again, it's like you said, it's a very chill wind down yeah even the fight know. was a was very casual there was no yeah 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 speeches. and it's kind of yeah so so we'll see because yeah i think next episode i have a vague idea of what's possibly going to happen next episode and where we're going to end off right and i and i think it's it's probably a good place to end it i think when we get to the next episode next week i, I feel like it'll be a good we're going to end in a very good spot for the for the series. Um, I'm praying for season two because my god, <laughs> my god, please! I, mean, I, 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 should have, I should have given you. Have you have you seen that gif of that guy who's like a uh, uh, what is it? One of those one of those um, citizen guys in a car. The cops. What are they called? You know what they called, right? The the fucking oh fuck the guys that are always like the law doesn't apply to me I'm oh, a, I'm sovereign a... citizens I'll, I'll... sovereign citizen the sovereign citizen guy who's in the car and he's got his hands up and he's like praying to trump he's like oh. please trump please trump <laughs> please well, while like the cop's about to break his like window and he's like please trump please i'll, I'll see if i can get the where's the where's the gift fuck it i'll, I'll, I'll i have it saved on my discord because i love it it's a great gif um and i'll post it and you could i don't know if you want to break yeah there it is there it is there it is this one this oh, one <laughs> this is this is me oh, praying no, for the second too... season this is me praying for the second season of gushing over magicals please magical girl, please please Does anime gods please oh, i mess it <laughs> The sovereign citizens, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, oh, yeah, there. Yes, oh, oh well, we got all the gifts, all of the gifts. We get all of <laughs> the whole window. There, <laughs> there you go. Gone, you go. You, yeah, there you go. Please, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, 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 Trump. Please, please, Trump. <laughs> I'm gonna summon the magical girls. <laughs> please, please, summon you to help. Please. <laughs> That's yeah. That's me. That's me hoping for a second season. That's me. <laughs> just <laughs> gonna do my incantations. Um, but yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. It was a good. It was a good episode. I feel. I. I, I quite. I quite enjoyed. Um, Utena's. You know, reinvigoration. I, I also liked Kiwi being like, "Look at my boobs. <laughs> look at. <laughs> look at my boobs. Yeah, is there a you. precedent still?" Did Utena ever cheer up by grabbing Kiwi's boobs? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a coping for a second season. Yeah, co it is big cope. Yeah, big cope. Um, but no, no, I don't, I, I don't I was, know. I was going to mention right. If Kado Kawa is is releasing ASMRs for for Magical Girls, yeah, I, we I see a second time, season yeah. coming. Well, yeah, the advertising's been pretty intense, so yeah, I think, and I think it's definitely popular enough for it. I hope so. We'll see what happens, but um. But yeah, yeah. To cap off, to cap off the section, it was yeah, it was a good episode. It's good stuff. I reckon. 
pretty much sums it up. What yeah. You... Shall we talk about absolute cinema? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> It's time to talk about absolute cinema. I didn't think we were going to end here, actually. I didn't think we were going to make it this far, but we I thought we were going to end on the Lord stuff, but we, we ended at exactly the best point to end the season. Fucking absolute cinema. Absolute cinema. You you, you take the floor, Ellie, because you're the, you're the senior, I, you're I, the I, anime only watcher. Uh, what did you think? I uh, appreciate Kiwis and what's her name again? <laughs> Sulfur's uh, fighting. Little. The more they fight, the more I like it. Yeah. It's very, it, it's uh, just more funny every single time. They complete one another. Yeah. <laughs> the absolute disdain that they have for each other, kind of. And then when they fighting dies down, they. Hey, bitch! Come on, I, I, I give, you, I'll give you this if you stop being such a mm. pissy ass. Mm. It's a lot of fun so... to see them fight. Oh yeah, but the rest, Utana, being a total fan, fan girl for the person right in front of her, always a good, <laughs> good trope in, to have with secret identity heroes. Mm. And also, yeah. Uh, Azure is a new form, very nice, very good. I liked it. Her. So, I I think that yeah, because because I mean we mentioned you know way back right, you were disappointed that you didn't get the conclusion to your to your character art. A little bit of you? resolution, or at least progress. You got your it. resolution this episode. <laughs> this is your. <laughs> We've come full circle. I, I there's a lot of stuff that I found really. Like, because I, I remember reading this at the time, right? But I'll talk about it kind of as if it's anime only in a sense, right? Um, one of the little details is obviously her transformation sequence. Uh. She gets fucking bound up in the transformation sequence because <laughs> she gets wrapped up in the bandages, right? Yeah. So there's this, like, there's this, there's a lot of layers going on to, like. The, the the kind of way that she's solved the problem right because now it's it's she she's found a way to continue to be strong and to fight while still being horny as fuck <laughs> hey hey mistress uh, mistress i'm fighting so hard so so you have to fight me harder and punish me harder mm, afterwards exactly and of course that's what utena wants you know basketball anyway. that's what she wants that's what she wants. It's what she wants. She wanted from the start. So it, it it really has come around full circle, and you get to see this entire little little character arc happen, um, and they play into each other. Um, and it's it's yeah, it it it's it's, all, it's such it's such a it's really good. And there's a lot of really interesting other details that come along with it too. Like we it, there was the mentioning of oh she doesn't have a weapon, right? I like the other two do. Mm-hmm. Well, she does have a weapon now, but the weapon is unconventional in the sense that it's obviously the bandage slash outfit, um, shrine maiden. Stuff, yeah, right? that cloth has a has a has a word, but I don't know the divine yeah, cloth a thing. A term for it, divine. Yeah. So it's very interesting how you know how how that how how there's this this idea of it reflecting kind of the personality in a sense, um, you know, from the transformation sequence to, I guess, I mean, she's presented as a Shrine Maiden at the very beginning of the series, right? Yeah, that's so her it fits. Kind of, so, so it's her job slash, you know, what she, what she, you know, she, maybe she's like, maybe her family owns the Shrine or whatever. Um, so there's, so there's kind of, there's this, it's, it, again, it's, it comes full circle. It loops back around and now we've had kind of the conclusion to it. So I'm, that's why I'm so happy we ended on this episode because, you know, it's a, it's a good beach episode, obviously, you get yeah. beach fan service, but we also get that conclusion to the Azura, um, Utana arc, kind of like relationship arc, because now essentially, right. We now have an established relationship dynamic completely now. Right. And for everybody, like, kind of. You know, and then uh, you know, and then as as the series goes on, you know, we might see some more fights between the two, and we'll see how see how it plays out. You know, this, I do want to see the love hotel. Um, yeah, 
<laughs> Hopefully that I mean no second season confirmed yet, but come on. Come on, we put yeah. we praying. We praying, boys. We pr- I I would be really shocked if they didn't because Karakawa has been really I don't know if I posted it in the chat uh, on the Discord server, but they were like buying uh screen billboard advertisements. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so like they've been pushing the advertising for this really hard. <laughs> There's been a lot of advertising for it, so maybe they'll wait I would for be the figurine sales because those bring the big, mm. the, you know, merchandise is the big money. We'll see, but there's definitely an. I, I'd say there's enough material for another season, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, we yeah, and of course we there was. I think one of my favorite moments. Uh, did, I've, I'm surprised you haven't brought it up yet. Was when they're about to do the big fight, right? Yeah. The, the, the opening kicks in, right? The opening yeah. song kicks in, and then <laughs> then you have fucking what's the, the two other characters, the, the 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 singer and the and the shadow girl. Yeah. They're just kind of knocked out, and, and Alice's puppet just is like, like music cuts. Walks in, picks them up, walks out. Music starts again. <laughs> Continues even. Yes, yes. Just Continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was great. I, I actually cracked up laughing when that happened. I thought that was great. Oh yeah, I, I, I skip, I skip. You know, I, I pressed back on that scene because it's a very yeah. Good it was scene. great. It was so good. But I, and I think that really encapsulates the uh, the tone, right? And the and the feel of the series in a sense, right? Where it's this kind of, you know, it's a little bit serious, but it's mostly good fun, right? It's mostly mm. it's mostly you know, you know fun times. So let's you know trans the whole season, right? Absolute cinema, <laughs> in my opinion, absolute cinema. Probably the best show I've watched this season, quite frankly. Um, just not just because obviously I'm a fan of the source material, but you know, even even with that. As an anime, as a standalone and you know production, they did such a good job on this, and I am so fucking happy. <laughs> I am so fucking happy because uh, I was so worried. You remember, I was so worried. Yeah, oh no, you, it's gonna be. You know, it's been done low, by the, that one studio. Oh, I mean, the director's good, but we don't. Oh, oh it's gonna be censored to fuck. The, how could they possibly hear this? It's going oh, to be, no. you know, five frames per second, low budget mm. animation. And I mean, there's some of that, right? Like, obviously, a lot of the fights are not, you know, quite hyper. Like, it's not like there's a lot of sakuga going on, right? But the thing is, is that's you know fine right because they put that budget where it counted right because you did get some really good you know fan service scenes you know so they got really daring with a lot of the fan service actually to you know even for an atx uncensored version right like you got like full nudity in some you know obviously without detail right but full practically full nudity in a well lot they, they cases. these days they do nipples very well very Oh yeah, the breast animation on this was really good. Like, I mean, hell, even in this episode when the girls are in the changing room, right? Like the, the fucking mm-hmm. the bounce going on there was really well done. So, so, they, so they put. I think they put the resources that they got to good use, right? I think that they did a good job at allocating things properly. I think that overall the adaptation is, you know, as I've mentioned multiple times while talking about it, it was it's you know they changed things around they made the flow a lot better. They added some anime original content to kind of stitch some of the parts together, right? Because when, because in the manga, it's, you know, because it's a manga, you can have like things cut, you know, really harshly because it's a manga and you're reading through it and you can have stuff between chapters and volumes and stuff, right? And there's always that, you know, assumption of elapsed time and whatnot going on. Um, but with the anime, they you know made made it you know they only have the set runtime. They have to fill in those gaps with stuff sometimes, which me which is where you got like the whole you know magical girl convention and you know Azura and old you know Uta going to the magical girl thing. Yeah. Um. So 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 you got a lot of interesting stuff like that and moving things around. So you know having all the Alice stuff happen before establishing the Azura Utena prop you know proper proper relationship you know 
key it's what 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 what's the what do the kids say these days canon event or whatever whatever the meme is you know oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> the, a, that's a marvel thing don't worry yeah you know, the, you know, the marvel thing or whatever um so they you know in doing that right it differentiates it from the source material but not in a detrimental way right it makes it its own kind of production that can stand alone without you needing to kind of, and even like with where it ended right you could watch this and not continue on reading the manga and you'd probably be perfectly fine with that like, yeah because no... it's, 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 there's an there's a understanding that they are going to continue their silly fights their silly meaningless mm. hero and villain I mean, fights you, i mean as you have in the picture our little mascot friend is obviously like haha this hey, is, oh i'm excited to see what comes next too haha um, but besides but besides that, it's like you said, right? You, the, it ends on a good point of things are going to continue. Status quo has been established. You know, if you didn't want to go and read the source material, which, I mean, you should because it's really good, right? <laughs> you should as well. Um, you know, you can you can have a good time. You know, you, get, you, you pretty much have a complete package, right, in the show. The show is a complete standalone package. Um, praying for season two, but mm-hmm. even if we don't get a season two, it's still a complete package, right? There's no, oh, there's no, it's not a go read the manga ending or a, oh, season two never ending. It's a very complete, you know, experience. And I think overall, it, they've definitely done a fantastic job at it. And it's made me a very happy Kiwi. I'm, I am extremely happy with it. Best anime of the season. And now I've ranted long enough. You need to rant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to I, stop I, me, Ellie. I'm going too long. You need to stop me. <laughs> I know. I, I felt like I talked about my. Uh, it's time for torture. Yeah. So you can have your, yeah. your 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 moment. All right. All right. Now 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 you get to complete. You're wrong. It's it was horrible, to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll let you. I'll let you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, good. Good show. Good to see some explicit sexual content every now and again. Packaged mm. in some good, wholesome character development. I kind of like how they handle Alice most of the time. She's mm. because um, I feel like you know, big go big culture talk, big political time. Maybe uh, any American show approaching this subject in a, the most you know most casual sense wouldn't have Alice there at all. Anything sexual. Mm. Any nudity at all would be immediately no. Alice can't be can't exist near it, and therefore I think it's also. And they do oh. have some fun with that sometimes with Kiwi trying to like sh- protect the child's eyes. Yeah, <laughs> Pret- although she so they do. It wasn't Kiwi this time? It was uh, either local or uh, one of the others. Or... Yeah, yeah. So they do, they do, they do. Um, they do, they do have play around with that. But anyway, I'll let you go. I'll let you do. Yeah. Um. This is my me. This may be my European gripe against American Puritanism, but just nudity isn't sex. So mm. if Alice is watching a girl's naked breasts, that doesn't isn't it isn't inherently sexual, even if the character older characters themselves think it is or approach it that way. For Alice, it's not. Um. I appreciate, therefore, that Alice is still included in most scenarios in a sense that she's present. She's not quickly hidden away or something. Mm. Uh, but that's my puritary, uh, you know, my European anti american puritanism uh, a bit over. Uh, or maybe it continues. Uh, Utena <laughs> <laughs> is maybe a little bit underage but she still has a sex drive so therefore don't don't don't, deny that people i I don't i don't recall i don't like it's not like the ages matter yeah anyway i don't it's set in in like early high school right like it's it is around the right time right for for those for for them to have the sexual interests Mm. and i think it's uh uh healthy in a sense to have these characters have sexual interests rather than to maybe and discovering discovering their sexual interests discovering well. sexual interests and i think it's a little bit more of a realistic tone realistic 
thing to have over the slice of life cute girls mm. doing cute things where romance is only ever hinted at. Mm, mm. But here it's kind of more serious, right? Mm. There is actual and it's, a, and it's an integ and it seems to be an integral part of the message, right? Yeah, because I think we talked. I, mean, I know I'm, I'm 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 like Kanye West. I'm taking your microphone. I'll, I'll let no. you finish. <laughs> But, but. Uh, but it's because I have so much to talk about, right? Like, there's so much you could talk about with this series, right? Because one of the core cool things that we've talked about over the course of the um, the previous episodes is this idea of the more true to yourself you are, the more powerful you are, right? When Utna is going into her full sadistic, you know, oh, this is so fun. Oh, I'm, you know, this is, this is great. I'm feeling good. This is, is you know, she gets more stars. She, you know, she, she's got a new form change now, mm -hmm. just like, just like Azura has a new form change, right? And these, you know, power-ups that these characters have or, or showcase within the series that, as we've seen it, seem to be somewhat correlated to how true to their desires they are right how how much they accept rather than being embarrassed by them or shamed by them or wanting to hide them away the more open and accepted they are of their own desires it, it, it's like a source of power in a sense even though that's that's probably me reading a bit too much into the text i don't think it's that ex it's explicitly kind of stated that's just the kind of like thing i'm picking up on right based on how it's presented like even with kiwi right when Kiwi, you know, strips off and becomes the cat, right? The leopard. You know, she, 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 yeah, she's becoming true to herself in a sense, right? She's like she's she's stripping off the confines of her clothes and becoming the the, the animal that she, you know, because she's always been the hot headed, wants to fight, right, type character. So, so it's yeah, it's very. There's that very interesting element to it, but anyway, you yeah, might I, I, can, <laughs> I don't know really because the the one moment where Kiwi does reveal her stars, or maybe you know, even if that's mm. the moment that they present themselves. Maybe it's mm. uh, not. Maybe she doesn't have stars normally, but this is the moment when she you know unleashes. Show up. Yeah, this is the moment they they grow and show up. Uh, that is the moment where she doesn't fight to fight. That's the moment where she mm, is, does true, something true. clever and doesn't go full on destroy. So that so there's probably more to it. Like I said, you know, I'm probably reading too much into it and probably coming up with my wild wild interpretations. But I do think there is some element of that, though. Even if it's not direct and explicit, I do think there is some level of some underlying message of it's okay to be what be yourself right yeah it's okay it's okay to be into the things that you're into it's okay to you know experiment it's okay you know and, and i i think that's a really really as, as you were mentioning with the whole you know anti-puritanism cultural stuff right? i think that is an important message to give to people right like it, it is okay now the flip side of that, which hopefully if we get into season two, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna spoil anything, but you know, what 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 happens when things go too far? Let's, you know, mm. let's, let's I, I have I am lacking context to probably answer that question and in yes, the context yes, of the Yes, yes, you show. are, yes, yes, yes. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I'll let you finish up. Yeah, uh I get my mic back. Uh yeah. But yeah, uh, I got, I was kind of finished actually. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's man, yeah. So this, yeah, definitely, uh, it's okay to be a horse. Utena said to Vash. <laughs> oh God. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, definitely a good. Def I, I mean, you'd agree, definitely a good yeah, show. Yeah, good definitely show. Uh, uh, I might put free run over this though, or even maybe uh, well, the diaries. But see, the way I see it, right is i remember way back in the day right back in the good old days when i was a wee a wee lad a wee teenage lad right i used to get into arguments with people about like the validity of itchy right and the validity of these kinds of shows and whether or not they they they're you know how you, how you quantify their quality and whatnot because back in the day a lot of people would be like oh dxd is is horrible or high school of the dead is horrible or 
whatever, and they're comparing it to something like Cowboy Bebop, mm. right? And it's like, yeah, of course, like, if you compared Gushing Over Magical Girls to something like Cowboy Bebop or Full Metal Alchemist or whatever, yeah, of course those are going to be better, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, of course, right? Like, uh, uh, to use the modern example you just brought up, right? Like, Fre- Freerin, right? Like, yeah, of course, Freerin is a better production. It's a better, you know, m- 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 grander story. Now I, think you're kind of, I think you're putting down uh, Gushing a little bit because... Uh, I watched uh, the wrong way to u- use healing magic. I think gushing is better than that show. It, I think well, yeah. Well, it's not so- about putting it. It's not. It's not about putting it down. It's about. I think it's like- better than solo leveling at this point. So. Mm, mm. Yeah, may- maybe maybe I do have the wrong idea, but I'm just remembering like those kinds of arguments, right? Uh, back in the day, where it's like, I feel like people kind of have either too higher expectations or too low of expectations maybe that's the problem um but anyhow um yeah yeah Yeah. in the end in the end of the day good 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 show we all we all will will clap hands together and pray (laughs) we'll all and in case we don't get season two go read the manga it's good (laughs) Well, let's wait like two months for a season and then maybe they announce it for like next year or something Maybe, maybe, yeah. So anyhow, I guess we 